These are legitimately some of the most addicting things you'll ever see. There's a 90% chance I'm actually playing these right now as you're watching this video. Do you know what's overwhelmingly positive and $3? Antonio is. And this is a game that's all about whipping stuff in your garden. The more you whip, the stronger you get. There's probably a little bit more to it than that, but that's all I can focus on. My strategy so far is just to kill as much as fast as you possibly can because you level up. And that leads to things like a fire wand, fires at random enemies, heals heavy damage, and I like heavy damage. While the whipping can be fun, we need to supplement it with a little more other stuff. And a very good idea it is to have two, I want the best. Eventually, this turns into full-on genocide and I'm murdering absolutely everything I see. If you murder Sado, we have another level up, so we're gonna take a magic wand, fires at the nearest enemy, and we have a glowy bat. And thanks to that magic wand, we're now hurting things nearby, so I can be a little bit more comfortable getting into a crowd like this. And being in the crowds does feel really good, because then I can whip more things at once. And that's just good for your soul. But I'm not quite satisfied. Things start dying on the screen instantly, so we're gonna need more upgrades. And I think I accidentally just bought better armor. Didn't realize you could press that button. And I literally just did the same thing again because I'm stupid. So I'm not entirely sure what my second upgrade was, but that doesn't matter. We're still gonna do lots of damage because I'm an all gas, no brakes kind of player. Uh, and we just got completely mowed over by a herd of bats, but it didn't actually seem to do a lot of damage. Let's give them a big whip. That's gonna be a lot of money. It feels good to get into all this. And it doesn't even do that much damage. And we got another level up. Now we're gonna take better fire wand. Uh, what's the name for a herd of bats? I don't actually know. This is a really satisfying part of this game though, because we're really only getting bats to spawn and they die so easily, we can kind of just walk through all of them without too much concern, and then we get lots of upgrades. And speaking of upgrades, there's another one. Uh, we can get a crown which gets us more experience quicker. I want a better magic wand. I want more damage. And the skeletons have come to play finally. I got so lost in the whipping that I didn't even notice that experience trickling back up again. We could get more whip damage. I kind of want to move 10% faster though. My health is getting a little bit low, so I'm going to need to be able to actually maneuver. And I guess I do mostly damage horizontal with this build right now, so I kind of need to pull them all horizontally then walk into them so I can take their stuff. And I get that upgrade. So we're also, oh, the better fire wand is good. An axe would be nice too for variety, but we're going to take a fire wand. Mostly because I don't really know what strategy is anyway. I just like fireballs. I do see some health in there. The problem with trying to get to that health is getting through the horde of stuff. But if I just keep whipping things, good things will happen. Same philosophy applies to real life. Uh, the problem with staying in one spot also is that all the enemies kind of pile up, so you gotta work your way into them to get the things they drop, and that can be a dangerous proposition. There's another level up though from killing the idiots. Uh, we're gonna take lightning ring. Lightning's randomly gonna strike idiots. I'm not sure how effective that is, but it is pretty funny that I'm getting things struck by lightning. Because I think we're about getting to that point where the whip doesn't really do a lot of damage, it's mostly just a little bit humiliating for the things I hit with my whip. We're going to uh, increase my movement speed again because I noticed that I'm stuck in between this wall of flowers. But now we have the weirdos wearing dresses attacking me, so things are escalating. There's also a praying mantis, and I'm kind of okay with that. I'm probably not going to let it get very close to me. I assume it's very slow, so it does a lot of damage. So we're going to hang out over here and shoot it with fireballs. I've also cleverly escaped its um, little enclosure, and there's a gold coin. I was getting greedy, and I want to go for that gem because I notice it's a slightly different color. Uh, also, um, character picks up items from further away. Yeah, we're gonna get that. I don't know if that's gonna make a huge difference, but I'm getting very nervous about getting close to the mob of uh, dress-wearing weirdos. Pretty worried about the state of my damage at this point, because um, the enemies are only gonna get stronger and more frequent, and they're not, like, melting away before my eyes yet. I feel like I've been very lazy about picking up my uh, loot on the ground, or something's been killing things that I'm unaware of, because there's gems everywhere. There's even a bag of money and a gold coin over here. But if I saw that correctly, I think I got a bag of money from whipping one of those. I didn't realize I could get money out of the lanterns. And I have no idea what that thing even is. Okay, I'm gonna freeze these guys. Now then they're gonna be frozen and getting whipped for a while. Pretty much a dream come true. And there's another uh, cluster of bats. Okay, and uh, we killed that praying mantis. I'm pretty sure the lightning got him. He dropped a power up, but it's gonna be a little bit hard to get to that for a second. But speaking of power ups, I'm gonna get the wings so I can move even faster again. Uh, there is a strategy to this because the faster I can move, the more I can maneuver and survive longer. The longer I survive, the more powerful I'm gonna get as long as I stop touching things like that. But we got a treasure chest. And I feel like I just won the jackpot on a penny slot. Is that a better whip? Base damage up by five. All right, so how much are we even doing? Give him a whip. 22. But I'm also moving very quickly. I'm pretty much Sonic the Hedgehog with a whip. There's really something satisfying about this. I like the way things just auto attack. You don't really have to do much of anything. You just wander around and watch things die or get whipped or both. Candelabra door, uh, augmentary of attack 10%. Let's get the magic wand firing a little bit more. I feel like it's doing a lot of damage. 
I'm going to see if I can kill the glowy bat because I would love another uh, random power up like that. I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. I think I just got a shank. Uh, base damage up by 10. So okay, my fire wand got even better. And that's good because it's, I think, been a pretty big staple for what we've been doing. We are getting these red bats now though too that seem to be pretty uh, damaging. And I'm glad I have that extra speed now. That way I can avoid the uh, cluster of bats. Gaggle of bats? Herd of bats? I really, I gotta Google that once I'm done. Level ups are coming quickly now because I'm killing a lot of things. I'm gonna get uh, Santa water, generates damaging zones. That's why I guess we're gonna spray him with Santa water now, which um, I guess Santa throws water from the sky down on the bats. It doesn't have to make sense. It just has to hurt things. Look at the size of that thing. Hope you like Santa water. Okay, I just realized, uh-oh, that uh, this ring spawned in a really bad place because I could not circle around the other way because I was trapped, I think, by that. Uh, yeah, I would have got trapped there either way. So that was a really bad spot for us to spawn. Basically, I'm just making excuses for when I die in a moment um, because that was just really poor timing. Come at me, idiots. I'm ready to do this. Uh, we are starting to get so many of the dress wearing weirdos that I'm worried my damage isn't going to carry us through anymore. And I got uh, this is uh, not optimistic. Okay, hopefully you guys are weaker than I think you are because I'm just going to have to plow through you basically. Okay, coming through. Okay, we leveled up, but I think we're about to die. Give me more whip. And I think we're doomed. Luckily, at the end, it does give you a breakdown of what was actually working or not. So the lightning ring was garbage. The fire wand was something. Plus, I can use the money I collected along the way to upgrade myself permanently. So I'm going to get 10% more coins per rank. Then we're getting straight back to whipping. This time, I've got a plan, which involves garlic. Damages nearby enemies reduces resistance to knockback and freeze. I didn't even know those were things, but the garlic is so strong. It basically makes a force field that can annihilate bats. So I can just charge right into them already. Get out of the way, stupid. I'm better than you. The garlic is so powerful early on that they really can't even spawn fast enough to keep up with me. I just kill them as they show up. I'm not sure about these guys. Yep, even those guys. Werewolves, whatever you are. So we're going to take a fire wand because that did well for us last time and we can't really walk into those things as much as I thought. But using the garlic armor is just going to make things a lot easier because it's going to eliminate a lot of the damage up close to us because it's going to kill a lot of things before they can hurt us. And after killing Glowy Bat, we get better garlic so it's a bigger, stronger radius. And shortly after that, I got another level up. Uh, I'm going to go for magic wand for now because it will do a lot of damage also. Then we'll upgrade the whip. Either way, I can already feel a big difference from last time, mostly thanks to the garlic armor. I could pretty much just sit here and kill everything before it touches me at this point okay here comes a cluster of bats let's see if we can yeah we can absolutely tear through them look at all that experience we're gonna get now i don't know if i can straight go through them but with a little movement we certainly can this is fun i'm gonna get some spinach uh raises inflicted damage by 10 percent. i assume that's just a straight up 10 percent damage increase which i'll take right now because look at all this we're gonna get this is very satisfying it sounds like popcorn but it's actually murder uh these are all defensive options so we're just gonna maybe get armor reduces incoming damage by one that way when we do get hit by things uh, hopefully one is actually a lot and look at how fast our experience is going up this is kind of stupid at this point we can just march on through and we can upgrade our garlic once again so i think we will uh i don't know how far the garlic can carry us but for now it's certainly uh getting its money's worth because look at us go i completely just zoned out and killed a bunch of bats uh we're gonna reduce weapon cooldown by eight percent uh, eventually we are going to start to add more weapons because obviously but the faster i can fire them the more damage we're going to do and we're gonna, definitely going to chase down glowy bat here because he's got upgrades for us and uh the garlic's going to be good against these skeletons because they pretty much just melt against the garlic uh if there's a big herd of them that might be a problem glowy bat died so we're going to work our way straight into the crowd and treasure the whip now fires one more projectile plus we got an upgrade um let's get base damage up by 10 for the fire wand i guess well i'm definitely feeling pretty confident so far we can just walk basically straight through the hordes of enemies right now and melt them and we can upgrade our garlic even more base uh area up by 20 percent damage up a little more that's gonna help really give me a bigger buffer zone i just realized i'm probably getting certain events at intervals yeah right at five minutes the first uh one of these idiots shows up so we're just gonna leave him on the edge of our garlic he's probably gonna get melted right there because he keeps getting pushed back anyway uh let's take a knife i think i just want some variety of weapons going out so the knife's gonna uh shoot out whatever direction we're facing and that's just gonna help to uh you know kill the things wearing dresses and look at the difference. We used to have trouble killing these. And the praying mantis is already dead. And these guys are soon to be dead, but we're going to take the upgrade. It looks like we got an upgrade to our flying knife. And that's just fine by me. Fires one more projectile. So now we're firing two out front. I don't think they're huge damage, but they're pretty quick. And they're going in the direction I'm facing. So when I need a path to freedom, I'm going to get it by stabbing my way out. 
Oh, now we're going to freeze everyone. So we might as well just dive right on in there like this. Next level up. I don't really know what to grab here. Maybe just a better whip because I do enjoy whipping things. And I'm not really sure what that is. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and hoover up a bunch of stuff from a distance. We've killed over a thousand idiots so far. There's another glowy bat and I really want to kill him. Oh, hopefully we can go through these ones. Uh oh, that was a lot of damage. It was a lot of damage in a hurry. I moved out of the way, but that was kind of scary. I do think I have the idiots mostly clustered up over here, so that's kind of nice. Um, we're going to get the better whip because that's going to do a lot more damage with the whip nose. And that's good because it's still one of my main weapons. And I think this is basically going to be my strategy. Making everything pop like popcorn while I pull it in a circle, slowly picking up the collectibles that they drop. Okay, this is what I unlocked last game for surviving as long as I did. Clock land set, chance to freeze enemies in time. And uh, that sounds fine by me. I don't know if it means all of them or some of them, but that's still going to give me a lot of maneuverability options. Because when they do that, I can move through huge swaths like that, pick up all the upgrades. And that's going to give me lots of confidence, because if it shoots a line and freezes enemies like that, I feel like I have a path, like an escape route that I can walk through. Because if they're frozen, I can melt them. I guess we're going to go for a uh, magic wand at this point. I'm only nine minutes into this run and I'm already melting everything. So this is a very good sign. Okay, these red bats are going to be a bit of a problem. They're much stronger and they do a lot of damage, as I just found out. So I cannot touch them even a little. But there's some more wings, so I'm going to go ahead and take those. Extra movement speed means I can get away from things. Okay, we've hit the 10 minute mark, and that means I get the bigger praying mantis thing. So I don't really know if I should stay and fight this or try and make my way out. I might just try and make my way out. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just going to go through that because I don't want to get locked in there with all that. And we're back to the part where we're getting a skeleton army. So hopefully I can just kind of, yep, the garlic is going to carry me through this part pretty nicely. Perfect. Now I can pretty much just walk through them collecting all their uh, insidey parts. Ooh, what's that glowing thing? Uh, excuse me, I need the glowing peanut. Please get out of my way. Oh, that's fun. It's like a flamethrower. Let's take uh, the better clock land set and then we're going to light this thing on fire. Then we get two power-ups. I don't know why there was a random flamethrower in the ground, but there's a better uh, fire staff thing. So that's going to help me out in a big way. Not that we needed lots of help in this particular moment, because look at all that. But I will also take this. This was like a super chest. Do I get all of that? I hope I get all of that. So, yep, one of five. So base damage uh, is up by 10%. Base damage up by 10%. So that's a 20% damage upgrade. The fire wand got upgraded. You get the idea. I just want to get the killing stuff again then. Oh, and we get another one. Let's put damage up again. Yeah, we're doing more damage than uh, before, certainly. And every time our things go out, they mm, slaughter huge swaths of enemies. Seeing a lot of shots for 99 going out, which is uh, obviously pretty good. I think we started out doing like 15 damage. And I want to kill him because I want his goodies. And no, that's not a euphemism. I want his goodies. Uh, I found something, so I'm just going to take extra movement speed, then I'm going to take just more damage again, because why wouldn't I? Damage is what's going to carry me through. Definitely seeing some damage go out for uh, over 100 routinely now, so we're obviously getting much stronger as we go. The fireballs especially seem to be doing a lot of damage. Enemies are getting strong though, because these werewolves, whatever they are, are surviving a lot of hits from me. I'm not going to pick up that food yet. No, these even herds of ghosts. And I don't know what this thing is. Oh, okay, that just straight up kills everything on screen. Good to know. Ghosts aren't really a big concern. I think I can manage them, but there is a lot of things coming at me now. Eh, I'm more confident than ever before. These guys can't do anything to me. I just want to swim in these fields of gems and go pick up that other power up and also that red one and also this. Uh, we're going to get uh, maybe more experience because that's just going to lead to more power ups in the future. Probably should have picked one of those up earlier. Okay, I'm getting really surrounded suddenly. Let's do a uh, cooldown reduced by uh, 8%. Okay, I'm just going to have to tank through that for a sec because I didn't really plan that out very well. All right, idiots, come down here. I need you to come way down here so I can move up into the space you were in. Okay, suddenly I have to take a bit of a nomadic approach to this because there's so many enemies spawning in that I have to keep moving just to avoid being touched by anything. I don't want to be touched. I am the toucher. Going to slowly make my way down towards that power up I've been trying to get for like 45 minutes to see if I can ever make it there. There it is. Perfect. All right, what are we going to get on this one? Looks like more fire rod damage. And look at the size of that one. He's been eating other werewolves. Okay, things are starting to get pretty ridiculous uh, for the enemy side now. There's praying mantises everywhere that are going to destroy me. And I'm in trouble. I should have pushed through that. I'm going to push through that. We're alive, but only for another moment. At least I can say I whipped 3,500 creatures to death in my garden today. Okay, 
Well, I'm gonna sit here and grind for 12 hours and try this again, it will be more powerful. Okay, back at it again, I've been grinding for just a little while, look what we can do. We have the garlic so powerful now, we can march straight through the skeletons without any concern at all. Werewolves are still gonna be an issue, but I spent the last few minutes just straight up marching through skeletons. So, base damage up by 10, then we're gonna get another power up, and if we kill big boy, we'll get another power up on top of that. And I will kill big boy, it's just a matter of when. But for now, we'll take more uh, fire rod damage, its speed and damage is gonna go even higher. So we just need to stay not too far away from him while trying to pick up every little thing we can. And the herds of ghosts are back, but we're even stronger this time, so we can just really walk right through them without any concern. I think the biggest problem with the ghosts are that they push everything. They go in a group and they push the werewolves toward me. Werewolves are dangerous, but all base damage up by 10%, so even more damage. Whoa, what's up with that thing? It was uh, also getting pushed by ghosts, which is scary because they'll kill me pretty much instantly. But there's another level up, so base damage up by 10%. We're just going to keep adding damage wherever we can. Uh, I also do like the axe. I'm glad we finally did get another upgrade to that. The uh, boomerang projectile is good too. I will upgrade that as soon as I can. I have a feeling it's done a lot of damage for me. And look what happens when I circle back down below. Like I wasn't even really down here, but we've done all this damage somehow. So we had all these gems here. This is a tight spot. I don't like this at all. We're going to try and tank through that. We're good. Ish. This is where it's hurting not having more speed. I went more for damage because I figured my damage could carry me through these situations and so far it can't. The walls are closing in on me now. But I did kill almost a thousand more than I did last time so we're making progress. I decided to try the other level just for fun and it's going pretty well for me. I'm 15 minutes in I get an extra 10% damage. I've killed 8,000 creatures so far and I got my axe to such a high level that it evolved into this. There's also now a Medusa thing, but my axe is absolutely destroying everything. Um, so maybe we'll just get a little bit more experience at this point, because I feel like our damage is caught up for just a moment. So we're going to attract items from a little bit further away in case we get ourselves into trouble. But this way we're always picking up gems. I'm going to have to do something about Medusa at some point, but uh, my axe for now will take care of literally everything else on the map. I don't even have to think about enemies right now, I just walk towards gems. I accidentally just picked a power up. It doesn't really matter at this point because they're so far ahead of the curve. These axes just can't be stopped. I would like to stop her though because she's presumably going to be a problem if uh, more of her spawns. So we're going to try and kill her while uh, picking up her power up. And she gave me three power ups, upgraded whip, 10% more damage, and that's a scoopy up orb. Uh, you get the idea. We're just going to keep going and hopefully get something else to level 10 soon. Uh, not a lot of good choices here. Reduce all cooldown by 8%. I guess we get two of these though. All right, which one? We want the fire wound up by level 10. Okay, these just keep going and going. Uh, we're gonna do extra garlic, so many things getting closer to level 10. Like 10 seconds later, we're going again. Uh, so let's get the, I guess, just the whip a little bit stronger. The whip's actually doing really good for me right now because it's firing almost constantly and it's enormous at this point. Here comes a big group of enemies. I feel like I'm going to tear through them. The cross is something I really would like to see hit level 10 too. The purple ghosts are definitely a little bit stronger. They can survive at least one shot from the axe. I don't know what that is either. But we've killed 12,000 enemies so far and that's going to keep going up. The whip's getting close to level 10 so I'm excited. And I just realized how big my garlic patch is. It takes up like half the screen top to bottom. Uh, another level up. We're going to get uh, the whip is up to level 9 now so I'm not even sure what kind of damage it's doing but it's doing a lot. Pretty sure if I pick this up, everything nearby is coming into me, which is a lot. Uh, we'll get our garlic up to level uh, 9, I guess. And we do have a weird boss ghost thing here, but uh, he'll die eventually too. I'm mostly just going to ignore him because I really can't be bothered to care about him. Uh, the purple pants wearing zombies are a little bit stronger again. They're not necessarily dying one hit either. Uh, luckily it's not that hard for me to get two hits out. I need to stay away from areas like this though or I'm gonna get trapped. Uh, the big stupid ghost died so we're gonna get his power up. Hopefully it's garlic to level 10. It is not. It is a book. But that did reduce cooldown by 8% so I'm just firing my axes and stuff off even quicker now so I'm certainly not gonna complain with that. Uh, we're just gonna take fire wand up a level on this one. Base damage up by 10, speed up by 20%. To be honest with you I forgot I was even firing fireballs. They seem so in insignificant at this point. We are coming up to 20 minutes though so I can't wait to see what kind of stupid boss spawns to try and challenge me. It's a big crocodile man. I don't know if he can even get to me right now. I think I can just sit here and he's kind of hopeless. I don't think anything can really reach me. I was a little nervous about the ghost but um, I think with my garlic and everything I don't think I can actually be touched right now. Yeah I'm pretty sure I can literally just sit here like this and nothing can get to me right now. We're getting so close. Okay fire one's going up to level 9 then. Once it hits level 10 it's gonna do something I think similar to the axe. 
and that's very good because that axe has been basically carrying me this entire time. It's ridiculous how much damage it's doing. Definitely missed it there, so I guess uh, we'll upgrade our cross once again, which is perfectly fine. It's also doing a lot of work. Uh, the alligator man died, so we're going to go pick up his treasure. This is new. What is this? Uh, oh, it's okay, so it's a level 10 version of the fireball wand. Passes through enemies. I forgot to see what the rest of it did. So when they hit level 10, yeah, they turn into something entirely new like that. Okay, so now I've got fireballs and axes that just go do everything, destroying everything in their path. Well, this is a lot of fun. That single upgrade also just got me ridiculously powerful because those fireballs just continuously go through everything, destroying everything in their path. Even marching straight towards these enemies, nothing can touch me. Nothing can physically reach me because there's too much damage going out. So these little guys with guitars or whatever they have, they used to be like a boss level unit. They were an annoying boss that chased me for quite a while. Now they're literally just the enemy and they're also dying really quickly. I found a treasure chest, but it didn't upgrade the right thing. I won't say no to upgrades ever, but I really want the garlic. Pickup range increased by 25%. That's actually pretty big. So now I can at least pick up gems without getting too, too close. And I don't know what this is, but I want it. Okay, that just killed everything on screen. I really didn't need the help, but thanks anyway, game. The cross is going up to level 9. So the cross will probably be at level 10 before the stupid garlic is, but that's fine because... Well, that's going to do a ton of damage at level 10. I'm leveling up so quickly, it's stupid. I didn't realize over there it also show kind of what level things are at. Um, so I guess we're just going to upgrade the magic wand because it's probably also going to be pretty good at level 10 if we ever get it there. And with this kind of damage, I think we might just... Well, there we are getting it to level 8 already. Like, we're already a fifth of the way to the next level. This is so stupidly quick. Uh, he was supposed to be something tough though because he dropped me a super chest. To be fair, he might have been in the crowd for a while absorbing damage. Whatever the case, he dead now. So there is more pickup power and I think that's magic wand. So my pickup range just further increased by 53%. Depending on if those stack, that's over 50% from where I was at, but I'm hoovering up those gems from a mile away. So that's pretty helpful because I'm killing enemies from a mile away. Basically everything just melts. It appears on the screen in front of me and just melts. I think we're running out of things to get because it's not offering me stuff anymore. Or we've got to upgrade other things to get other things. I don't know how this works. It's absolutely hordes of uh, what used to be the boss ghosts now, but the fireballs and stuff just melt these guys. Uh, they can get a little bit close. It's a little bit unnerving because I don't have any defense or armor at all. I just went all out on offense, which to be fair is working so far. But at times like this, it does make me a little nervous because I'm pretty sure if even one of those gets to me, it's going to melt me pretty quick. I think I see a fireball peanut too. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I even need that at this point, but why not? What is do even more damage to everything? It feels like fire, like lighting cotton on fire. And we're going to take wings because we need more experience. I don't know if we're supposed to be this strong yet because we're kind of going through upgrades pretty quickly. We'll take even more uh, experience, I guess. It's hard to know that the fireball thing even ran out, but it did. So now I'm really just kind of increasing my um, experience earning. So we're leveling up quicker than... Okay, there's new things coming out and I'm a little bit worried now. The walls are starting to close in on me. I think this might be it. Well, to be fair, we're long overdue to be dead. Well, then again, maybe not. We just kind of uh, wiped the floor with everything. We clearly picked up a power up and uh, we got this witch following us. But I'm somehow not that worried anymore. Normally these red bats and stuff are a sign of uh, danger, but uh, we seem to be able to handle things so far. Okay, I think we hit a level 10 wand maybe? So we got another level 10 ability. Evolve magic wand. Fires with no delay. It requires an empty tome. So I'm not really sure what that means. But uh, oh, so I basically have like a rapid fire uh, magic wand now too. It just doesn't stop. It's like a laser. So we leveled up again. And um, I guess we're just getting random things now. Because we, I think we literally ran out of power ups. There's just nothing left for us to get right now. There's another Medusa thing. Now before that was on screen for a long time before dying. I feel like it's not going to be the case this time, especially if my fireballs or something heads in that direction. Whatever the case, there's a lot of damage. I don't know if upgrades only can come from bosses at this point because I've got two level ups now. All they did was give me coins or, or healing. There's just no upgrades of the regular variety left. The big one died, so we'll, we'll go play with these ones. There's a lot of Medusas on the screen. I'm not sure they can reach me, but if they do, I'm dead. I'd feel a little better if they were just a little further away, especially that big one. I think that's pretty much going to one-shot me. So we're going to keep moving in to hopefully pick up a little more coins to get some healing and stuff if we need to. We don't really need healing. The big one's dead. We're okay. Everything is just fine. I just realized there's a power up thing at the bottom. So we're going to make our way down to get that. And hopefully that gives us an upgrade. It gave us a bag of money. So I'm pretty sure that just adds coins to our permanent power ups. But it doesn't give us any more damage. And that's all I want. Just damage. Uh, there's new enemies coming in. It's a little bit hard to see what's going on. I don't know what my health is doing right now. So I just wanted to buy the healing. Because it's hard to see right now. 
There's just a lot of enemies all around me. Um, there's also a big Medusa nearby, which is kind of worrying, and I don't really know how to handle this. So I'm just going to start creeping upwards. If we get into trouble, we're going to pick this up and run to grab some gems. There we go. We get on the outside of the cluster. Things are starting to get a little bit more intense, so I'm going to try not to get surrounded entirely. If I have some room to breathe, that helps me out in a big way. Things definitely do a lot of damage to me because I just got touched for a second and pretty much died. Uh, we're not dead yet, but we are now. But that was still... We got 29 minutes, 14 seconds. Uh, we killed 25,000 creatures. Uh, so the super uh, items are obviously the best. The death spire was 3.4 thousand damage per second. The uh, fireballs was 3.8 thousand. The holy wand, 1,400. And I got tons of achievements. I just can't let this one go. The enemies have 50% extra health and I'm going to defeat them. I've also developed something of a theory that the ultimate level whip could really be what we need because I believe it steals life but we're also going to take a fire wand for now because that's just going to help me right now and the ultimate level fire wand is not too bad itself my theory is that the whip is kind of like the garlic in a sense it's uh, happens near me to keep me safe locally obviously it doesn't do a ton of damage very quickly but once it's leveled up it hits everything uh we would go over the king bible but I don't have the pieces yet I think to make the ultimate one so fire wand it is Nothing to see here, just some guy whipping trees at the park. Starting to get a little more intense with the enemies, but this is where the fireballs are going to help because the whip right now only attacks horizontally and that's kind of limiting. But we can tank a little bit of damage if we have to for those precious upgrades. Next we're going to take the candelabra door because that's going to combine with my axe to make the super axe and the area of effect does make a big difference. If we can have massive attacks, that's just all the better for us. Especially when the whip later is going to have lifesteal. There's a beautiful red gem for us, which is going to give us a nice upgrade. We're going to take the magic wand because we can also get the ultimate version of that and it's just a good little helper. Did you know this game is only three dollars? Holy guacamole! What a bargain. Okay we got a big cluster of enemies right now which is good and bad but the whip can shoot through them fairly quickly so that's just going to be a lot of upgrade points for us. With this level up we're going to take the whip for more projectiles that way we don't have to face the enemies anymore I can actually be moving away from them and still hurt them. And we're just going to attack them on both sides which certainly isn't going to hurt me at all. But here's another level up so we're going to take the pichon and uh, later on especially, that's going to pay dividends. Uh, we got some more choices to make. I guess we're going to take the cross right now because I need that damage to keep going out. And we can get the ultimate version of the cross, which is pretty good too. Enemies are definitely getting a little tougher, so we're going to have to keep upgrading the whip, hopefully, to get it to the point where it can keep us alive. But we're earning lots for upgrades. I'm still tempted to take the garlic because it can pair with other things. I just can't rely on it. So I'm actually going to do that. It's going to keep me a little bit safe. Normally I don't really like defensive items because I'm all about offense, but I think in this case we're just going to need it. There's some food we need, but I also just want all these upgrades because I'm greedy like that. And since we got some food, I can take some damage. And I forgot about the ghosts, so the garlic's going to help against things like the ghosts. There's an upgrade for our beautiful whip, now it's that much bigger. Okay, we've healed ourselves up. Uh, the peach on thing was doing lots of damage, we definitely want that red gem as soon as we can safely-ish get to it. That gave us a level up. Uh, fire wand, extra power. So interestingly, we did find a Pomerola. That's what we need, I think, to get the garlic up to its maximum level. So I'm going to take that for now because I think that's a bit of a rare find. And here's our mummy friend uh, and also a lot of these guys. So let's test the whip against them. Uh, we can kill them, but it does take a few hits. So we're going to have to be careful how we approach these hordes. But there's also just a lot of experience now on the ground. So we're going to upgrade the whip one more time. I think it's going to be the first thing we're going to try and get upgraded depending on our luck. It's a little bit hard to work my way up and down right now because we're doing damage side to side, but we can still do circles like this and we'll be fine. Look at all those gems. Finally mine. <laughs> There's another upgrade for the whip. We don't have the piece uh, yet to get the ultimate whip, but we'll hopefully find that very soon. It would be a shame to get all the way there and not find it. We can also get the duplicator, which could be good, but I need to be careful because I need to be sure to get all the pieces we need everywhere. Yeah, I'm actually not going to take the duplicator. As much as I like that, I need to save room for the pieces that actually can combine because we only have four spots left. Uh, the clover does combine with the cross though, so we can get the ultimate version of the cross. I really want the whip upgrade though, and I just walked into way too many enemies. And I just brushed against something and it took all of my health away. I don't know what that was, but I need to avoid touching them. I did just find a chest. Hopefully that's going to give me, yeah, a cross upgrade is fine by me. Uh, and then we've got another upgrade right away, so we're going to upgrade our fire wand right away. There is a flamethrower. I didn't really need to pick that up, but I'm certainly not going to say no. I would have saved that for a, a rainy day. Oh, we can kill this uh, bat maybe though. Or at least take a lot of damage off of him. 
starting to get a little bit nervous about the state of our damage. We're doing okay, but things are only going to get stronger, so we definitely need some of the right upgrades soon. Uh, none of these are really going to help me, but we'll take the Candelabrador just to attack a little bit more area. Because if we can make the whip big, that will help us in a pretty big way. I did find another one of these things, so let's just go ahead and clear a little bit of space for ourselves, including this guy. There is some health back to the right I need to grab, but I did want this. And that gave us a free whip upgrade, so I certainly won't say no to that. Now the whip is... does more base damage. We're gonna work our way back to the right as soon as we can. We're gonna upgrade the fire wand a little bit though. Because any upgrade we can take, we will take. Okay, there's my health back, so I feel a little better for a second. Uh, these guys aren't particularly strong, but they are kind of quick, so they can swarm you pretty fast. I feel like so far I'm always just on the verge of making it. Now that these red bats are showing up, I'm far less confident. Little bats like that don't bother me. Uh, they can push things around, obviously, but the garlic takes care of them. The hollow heart is what we need for the whip. The spinach is what we need for the fire wand, so hopefully that circles back again soon. But that's going to help us, give us a little bit of health, but also give us a super whip. And I just realized how big our whip already is. Like, it's already whipping way over there and doing quite a bit of damage at that. And it seems to fire off pretty quickly too, so later when it hopefully has a life-stealing effect, it's going to keep us alive. Hmm, this is kind of a bad situation to be in as we approach the 10-minute uh, challenge. Because we got a horde of bats that we're having trouble eliminating. But once we get my whip upgraded a little more, we'll be alright. Just gonna go ahead and walk through the flowers like I do in real life and we're just gonna keep circling around these idiots hopefully finding some upgrades. What would be great right now is another fire peanut. If you want to give me one of those that would be fine. I would march through everything. Well, well they're all jammed up over there. I'm gonna take a second to walk through all my gems. Hopefully pushing myself close to a level up. Uh, I walked straight through all that. Hopefully my whip now is enough to take care of these guys. Yep seems to be mostly the case. We gotta get through the wall of them though and then hopefully to a bit of a safer position for a second as best we can uh yeah things are already starting to get a little intense but with all the skeletons now we should get faster upgrades gonna find a weak spot in the wall maybe make a little more room and pass through it uh the duplicator still would be a fun choice but i didn't love any of those choices so we're just gonna work with whatever we got there's some health in there if i can get to it i gotta get away from that boss though right well i'm pretty sure i had the right idea i just got a little unlucky with the power-ups or I just picked the wrong ones is probably more realistic, but it's kind of the same difference. Give me that werewolf's about to kill me. Uh, there we go. We can upgrade the whip, though. And now that we're into werewolves, we have just a touch more space, at least for a second. Uh, can I make it to that clover? I don't really know what it does, but I'll just take anything I can get right now because I'm kind of desperate. Oh, there's some health. Can we get to it, though? Come on. Okay, we're <laughs> just scraping by, but we're doing it. So now all I need to do really is uh, find a treasure chest that will hopefully give me an upgrade to my whip and that will maybe do just enough to help carry me. There's some more health, there's a red gem I'm definitely going to try and get my greedy hands on. Uh, fire wand gets a level up, uh, it's getting ever stronger too. And the fire wand certainly isn't bad, I was not watching what I just walked into and I lost track of that health. Werewolves are going to be a big problem. But I'm going to casually walk through this, okay I need to get to that health right now. And there we go, so let's do the fire wand again. Uh, hopefully the ghosts don't push everything into me. I'm going to try very hard to just keep walking away from them. I really, really need a treasure chest. I need some more damage. I cannot keep things off of me. Stay away, ghosts. Well, this is falling apart quickly and I'm dead. Okay, I'm going to keep doing this until it works. Come on, big stuff. I want the better whip. And I think I got it. I got a whip upgrade at least. Bloody tear, it's the evolved whip. Can deal critical damage and absorb HP. Plus the other stuff. We need to move out of here though. So now we're going to be healing a little bit. Uh, but we're also doing critical damage with that whip. So now we just need to continue collecting everything we can. We're going to move to the right here to hopefully get through this safely. So far so good. Still a little nerve wracking. Just a sure amount of enemies we have to deal with suddenly. Uh, we're going to try and keep moving in circles as best we can. We're going to upgrade the peach own to hopefully keep thinning these guys out from a distance i did see that red gem up there don't worry we're gonna go grab that right away i kind of want the more experience is that gonna make a big difference no let's just make more area for attack yeah there we go we're gonna keep the enemies away if we have a bigger area this is very satisfying i did see a few more red gems out there so we're gonna try and make our way to those level up again um let's fix our weapon cooldown that's just gonna keep making things quicker as we go the damage was tempting, but we'll still find one of those anyway later. 
We'll probably find lots of those. This is very fun. I like how the game's just throwing me a bunch of weak enemies right now. It's just feeding me completely. So there's yet another level up. I don't really want the garlic or the clover. Let's just take uh, more health. That's not really going to hurt. Though I feel like once if, if we die, we're going to die instantly anyway, no matter how much health we have. Things do so much damage that they're just going to obliterate us on touch. Oh, we're running out of things to kill. Uh, hollow heart again, I guess. And uh, I assume the whip has been healing me. I haven't really been paying attention to my health, uh, which probably says a lot about why I keep dying. I don't know what I just bought. I accidentally clicked. But it was nothing new, so we just upgraded something we already had, and I'm okay with that. I don't know why we're getting so lucky this time as well, but there's extra damage plus the ultimate axe. So I'm feeling much more confident now. There we go. Damage in all directions. Gems in all directions. Death in all directions. This is fun. And we can still add more things, so let's just do bigger attacks. Uh, oh, I forgot about the fire one too. Then we're going to do uh, spinach as well for even more damage. All right, we might quickly become unstoppable here. I can't even get close to the enemies before they die right now, which is kind of the point of this game. And there's a duplicator. We're going to do that before we even upgrade the fire one. That's just going to throw extra projectiles. Look at the whip. It's already attacking like eight times in either direction. Okay, we're into the werewolves though. This is where things can get a little bit uh, mega dangerous for us. Okay, so normally we would have died instantly at this wave. It's still a little nerve wracking, but we're, we're okay. Mostly because we can kill the ghosts before they push everything into us. So let's do the ebony wings to hopefully keep things further away from us. Okay, that's stupidly hard for only 13 minutes in. That's kind of mean. Fire wand. Oh, we could also do the magic wand because we'll eventually get the ultimate version of it too. For now, that's not really going to do much, but eventually that will be a good one. It's kind of an investment. Fire wand, level up. And I just realized how many fireballs we're firing. So that's definitely going to eat through the enemies pretty quickly. Tried to get to that red gem because I'm being greedy. I think we got that one though. We sure did. So now we basically have to take one of these... Let's just take a clover. We're going to need luck anyway to find better chests and pickups and everything, so luck is not going to hurt. Let's do the uh, Pichon. And, oh, okay, that's lucky of us. And uh, also reduce, uh, basically increase item attack speed. Okay, then we're going to do the fire wand again because it's closer to having its ultimate version. And we're going to need ultimate versions to be able to survive. Uh, let's level up the Pichon because it's going to be very good for keeping everything away from us. And, um, oh, we're already running out of options. Uh, Ebony Wings, because it does damage. And there's a treasure chest. This might be a fireball upgrade. It is a super chest. So, yes, I think that's a fireball upgrade. Plus, uh, both the birds are getting upgraded too. So that's going to push us further ahead. Upgraded Fire Wand. It passes through enemies. So that's going to do a lot of damage. Plus, with the amount of projectiles it fires, that should almost always give me a safe lane to escape if I need to. Let's upgrade the uh, magic wand, I guess. We'll start getting it to its ultimate version. So for the next 13 and a half minutes, I'm basically going to walk in circles. Now it's kind of just a strategy of picking the most efficient route to get uh, all the gems. This is the run that just keeps on giving. So that just basically gave us a lot more luck. So we'll hopefully start finding more drops on the ground. We also did just hit level 50, and that means we got a, a damage upgrade thanks to my character. So I think now we have a natural 50% increase to damage. And the bats are coming back in. I, They could actually be a little bit uh, bad if they managed to push the enemies into me in a big way, like that mummy. Oh, there's a big, big mummy too. Cool. Let's we'll see if we can... Wow, this is dangerous. I don't like this at all. Okay, we're going to hopefully eliminate the bats before they get anywhere close to me. So this would be the 20-minute challenge. Um, I think the bats are almost about done though. Well, maybe not, but I think I've got it under control now. And plus we get another upgrade. Let's do the magic wand again. And he's dead. That really only gave us a clover. But again, it doesn't really matter at this point. We're doing plenty of damage from all sorts of different things. So let's do the ebony wings and then the magic wand. So yeah, we're definitely ready to upgrade some things once we find the chests. Which is really only a matter of time. We're just constantly spewing out damage in all directions. Okay, we're already to the point where we're getting either coins or health. So we're going to take coins every time, and uh, then when we find a chest, we'll hopefully get some more ultimates. Uh, some flowers did they show up again for some kind of increased challenge. I feel like they're mostly just going to get evaporated by myself. I did find a chest though, so this might give me the ultimate wand or a peachone. And it gave me the peachone thing. This is great because it by itself is upgradable too, so we can go back to upgrading things. Uh, and also it's just going to do an absurd amount of damage. 
Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, it frees up a spot. I forgot about that. I don't want any of that stuff, so we're just going to go with the upgrading the Vandalier thing. Vandalier? I don't know what it's called, but it just kills everything. Uh, the flowers are a little tricky, though, because they don't die right away, and they're a little bit hard to see, so I could conceivably die just by accidentally walking into them. There was a bat that gave us a chest. Come on, magic wand. And we got the ultimate magic wand. This, I'm pretty sure, just goes in rapid fire. Fires with no delay. So that's pretty helpful. Uh, you can see it going down here. Not that we really needed the help, but it will attack, I believe, whatever is closest to me. So that will help keep me safe if I accidentally walk too close to something. Another upgrade choice. I don't want any of that. So we're just going to keep upgrading the uh, super thing. And it's just going to get a bigger and bigger area of attack and stuff. So it's pretty much going to work it all single-handedly. Wouldn't you know it, it's an upgrade for this thing. What does it even do at this point? Base area up by another 20%. So pretty soon it's just going to take up the whole screen. And I guess I'm forced to make a choice here. So I don't know. Let's just freeze everything in time once in a while. Right. So that just shoots out like a penetrating uh, arrow or something that freezes everything it touches for a few seconds. Which could probably be good in the right circumstances. Uh, we're already a little bit overpowered so we don't really need stuff like that. But it's kind of fun. And I think that's the only thing left for us to upgrade at this point. So, you know... We're going to be freezing things more, then murdering them. They're going to be frozen in time while they're absolutely obliterated. The flowers can get a little bit close to me if it wasn't for my super peach own thing. Luckily, I do have it though, so I pretty much just follow it in a circle and nothing can get anywhere close to me. I can't wait to see the DPS at the end of this. We're doing stupid amounts of damage. Our clock lancet thing is already up to level 5, probably because of the sheer amount of experience we're getting. But to be honest too, if I didn't have uh, all of these ultimate abilities, I probably wouldn't make it this far. There's so many enemies and they're all so tough that this would be really, really hard to push through. Treasure chest, so we'll walk straight into that. Oh, it's a big one. I don't even know what five things it can give me at this point. Okay, money, money, and probably a max level lance. So the lance gets its cooldown reduced and the effect lasts one second longer. So I'm pretty sure it's also at max level. So whatever it shoots is going to be frozen in time. Probably until it dies, really. And it actually shoots pretty often. Uh, it is a little bit combined with my other upgrades that increase speed, but it's freezing a lot of things out there. And here come the army of glowy bats. We're into the final two minutes. Even they're just melting. Even if something could get close to me, I'm pretty sure my magic wand would just evaporate it. Uh, here come the big green meatballs as well, so things are pushing in just a little closer to me. But they're just getting forced in because there's no room for anything. Uh, we'll go pick up some of the orbs around the end. Uh, gems around the edge. Those ghosts could be annoying. If they actually get to me, they probably will kill me. So I'm basically surrounded by boss level idiots, like lots of them. But I'm still able to just fire power right through them. I'm actually annoyed about the level amount of level ups I'm getting. Oh, we're at 30 minutes already. Well, we did a challenge. Extra 50% enemy health. So yeah, the Vandalier was far and away the best at 22.4 thousand DPS. Even the ultimate axe and uh, fire wand were 4,000 damage each. The key to this game is lots and lots of coffee. So I'm guessing I'm gonna have a lot of those. Nice village and all, but where's the dungeon? I've got work to do. Found it! The underground prison. That sounds fun. I have one of these in my basement. As much as I would like more damage and critical chance, I don't have any money yet, and the game is not allowing me to kill you, so I'll be back with some money. Do I not have a sword? Where did my sword go? I think I forgot to bring something with me. I'm gonna have to take a sword from one of these gentlemen, and this is gonna be a process. Could you stand there and die, please? Yep, this is off to a really good start. Clearly, I didn't have enough coffee. You know what? At least he's pretty predictable in his attacks. Once he stalls, he swings his sword. I jump right into it, but then I can kill him, and he didn't give me a sword. Just kidding, I do have a sword. I just hit the wrong key. This is a little bit easier. Mostly just because I die faster. And I'm a very impatient person, especially when I've had this much coffee. I am supposed to be rescuing people here, but to be honest, I'm mostly just here for the treasure. But yeah, go ahead, you're rescued now. I saved that person. They'll reward me handsomely, I hope, with weapons and power-ups. This is what exactly? It looks like you could place something on his altar. Okay, but can I? Doesn't look like it, but I did find a gun. Matchlock gun. That's all this gold. All right, I like this room best so far. Do we need ammo for the guns? No, we just gotta reload it once in a while. Okay, I like this. And it does no less than three times the damage of my sword. Plus, it's got that range. It definitely helps me out when I'm killing the stupid bats. Really hope you're a friend and you're gonna reward me with all those fun looking weapons. Merchant. I'll take a merchant. Uh, yeah, please. Let's buy some weapons. How about an IOU? A white spear and the rest are blue. Nothing I can afford, so... Thanks. Friend or enemy? 
enemy. Gotcha. However, will I defeat this enemy who's shooting things at me from a very far distance away? And I miss. Oh, but then that didn't happen. Here we go. That's better. This gun's great because I basically get a free shot on anything. Anything I've encountered so far, at least. I wonder if this one can handle platforms. Doesn't seem like it. He seems like he likes to stay on the ground. Well, he's dead anyway. More stuff to play with. In front of the anvil, it says, Hammer your equipment to enhance them. I'll hammer my stuff all day long. Items can only be enhanced once and cannot be taken back to the village. Uh, you know what? I've got a gun I would like to enhance. Where'd that go? Okay, get over there. And go. Faster reload, faster attack speed, 20% weapon performance. Not really sure what to make of all that. And I can only use the anvil once. Definitely extra damage, the attack speed and reload time gotta come in handy. Considering I have 6 health left too. That is a big bat. Did it see me yet? Oh, yep, I think it saw me. Okay, don't touch anything. Very low on health. Okay, we got this. Just gotta be very patient. And we took damage. We're down to 1 health now. Still feeling optimistic. Kill it. Uh-oh. Okay, we got this. I, I can see that what I gotta do now. Kill those. Okay, that's a good start. Oh, I forgot I could thrust. Thrust? I forgot I could do that. I did hit level 4 though, so that's a thing I didn't know about. Uh, hi, I'm back from that dungeon. I definitely succeeded in doing the things. I saw you in the dungeon. Why are you here? You think we have time for naps? If we don't, I've got other towns I could be rescuing. We have the option to build a training school to increase the adventurer's attributes, but it costs a thousand of my 1350 gold, and I'm not spending that. I need to go deeper in the dungeon. We need to get more money down there. I'm pretty sure the loading screen just said new items are unlocked by defeating bosses, so we need to find some bosses and then actually kill them. What do we find? Gold star keyboard. What does that do? It's actually a weapon and it does more damage than my sword. So we're going to give it a try. And my first accessory, bullets become bigger and damage increases, but 30% attack speed decreases. There is handy items out this run. What is this though? Hopefully this makes me better. Salamander's eye. Plus 18% gold drop. How do I use this? And it shoots fireballs. I could work with this. If it's going to give me extra gold, I like it. I'm going to sacrifice some money by the onion soup. 14 power plus 8% max health. How do I buy that? That was... Probably may be worth it. Oh, the merchant's here too. I should have stopped here first because he probably has better weapons for me. No, it all sucks. Can I rescue like a king or something who's going to reward me with lots of money? Uh, what is this sparkly thing? Oh, healing. I'll take that. Sure I will. Oh, good. Another character to rescue. Can I ever re reward first? I saved Milia. I'm not really sure what she does, but hopefully she sells me stuff. This room is going to be a bit of a nightmare. Okay, we're going to take care of him first and then prioritize. Okay, next, and then the bats. We're literally getting hit by everything so far. I was expecting some warning first, though, because I'm probably going to die in this room now. Nope, we made it. I don't think I got any reward at all for completing this, but we completed the room. Definitely got rewarded for this room. What are the silver bars worth? And Adnum bullion must be a different kind of currency. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice some more money to hopefully get some healing out of this. I'm at 7 health, we're up to 18, but we got more defense, critical hit, etc. And this room gives us a crossbow, a blue crossbow, and a bunch of gold. It gives us 1% more gold, but it does way less damage. This room is concerning to me. I don't want a weapon, armor maybe? What's the trinket do? Let's see what the trinket does. Item gained, monocle. I like how it doesn't really explain to you what those are, you just kind of have to grab one. So apparently this platinum bullion is worth a lot if I sold it at the market, and the monocle I just picked up gives me plus 5 crit chance, plus 1 defense. And I can sell stuff, I didn't realize I could do that. 1666 gold for that, and 400, 800 gold for the rest of my weapons. Is that the end of the dungeon? I guess we're in a new one, with lots more gold obviously. 28 health to do it with, so I'm feeling confident. Uh, unless it's a boss fight, which it looks like it might be, the warden. Well, lucky for you, I've got fireballs. Lots of them. Oh, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought it was. Well, uh, his health is going down pretty quick. Okay, watch out for those. Those hurt a lot. Three health. We can do this. You know what? I'm losing confidence. I'm up to level seven. Still not sure what the levels mean for me, but I guess I'm getting stronger. Here's something that might help. The shop. You can purchase items before going in the dungeon. Yes, I would love one of those. And new items appear in the dungeon. A Cosmo sword. I want one of those. It's pink. All sorts of different rarities. All sorts of different items. Great. This time, the first floor of the dungeon is very hard. It keeps spawning enemies at me, so hopefully it's going to reward me with a very useful item I can use moving forward. Hopefully one that gives me lots of extra gold. Or nothing at all. That works too. What do we got? A long staff. That might actually be pretty good. It's a twirly stick. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Sword of Vines. That looks like it was yellow in rarity. I'm not sure what that means, but I know it's better than what I've had so far. It's rare. Poison damage, plus one dash. Attack multiple times with one swing. Yes, and I think it's probably, yeah, it's got way more range than my other weapons. Plus it looks kind of like a Christmas tree, so there's always that. It's mostly about the range with this sword, because I don't really have to get super close to anything before I'm able to kill it. You want to see the most annoying place in the world for this bat? Right here. 
because it can fire just down a staircase, so I have to back way up to be able to hit it. That was much harder than I made it look. What I do care about is some healing. Let's take this. Plus power, max health, 5-1 crit chance. Now this should go very well as long as I don't get hit anymore. And I just killed one of those big idiots who definitely hit me because I didn't even see him. I don't want to talk about it ever again. I'm really, really going to miss that sword. No good items at the shop, so let's just dive back in and save up some gold. I'm just going to be really, really careful not to get hit by anything. And we got some armor, so that's probably going to help us. Minus 5 move speed, but 11 defense, I'm sure that's worth it. And the very next room, I lost about half my health. But that's a nice big chest. What's in this? Torch. It's a yellow item though, isn't it? I get to hold it in my other hand. 20 uh, enhanced burn damage, 20 power, plus 3 power. Rare offhand. Okay, so I still get to use my sword like normal, but I'm also holding a torch in my face. I honestly don't know if I can survive that up there. I'm gonna have to time this or something because big slidey up there kills me in a hurry. Unless I just hide down here, taking a brave approach because I don't even hit me. There, that's so much easier. I just need to have him in a room like that every time. This torch is great and all, but I'm already down to six health and it's been like four rooms. And this room is not getting any easier. Like there's more damage. And I'm about to take a whole bunch more because there's a million different things I've got to think about. Like dogs, arrows, uh, the music screamer thing, and whatever that was. Maybe it's time we do this. That way I can increase my attributes. Hopefully like health because I'm going to need like 10 times more of that. Okay, so I'm learning every time I build a new building, I get new items in the dungeon. This is probably to my advantage, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I just interview these legendary items. That would probably help me. Apparently I have nine points to spend, so that's actually lots. We're going to take max health if we can, which coincidentally gives me me more gold if I get five points in it. So greed is definitely going to be a thing because gold is going to make my life easier. Then I might go for this one because after five points, items in the shop are 30% cheaper. That's going to help me save gold again. So without really looking into any more of these, we're going for five points in this. Or, you know, four because I had nine points. I can do math, but one more of those and I mean, we'll really be getting somewhere. I've got 90 health though and a winning attitude. Nothing can stop us now. This fun little room was kind enough to reward me with two chests, which gave me a golden keyboard and the ring of Midas, which sounds like something that would probably help me. A 75% gold drop. We have to survive for as long as possible on this run. So let's get some extra healing and max health. 78 out of 106, most powerful we've ever been. Another chest and we get uh, whatever that says. Feel free to just pronounce that by yourself. Attack speed increase by 25% when equipped with a one-handed weapon. I think what I'm using is two-handed, but maybe Oaf here has a one-handed weapon for me. I think one thing I might actually buy from him is definitely going to be this, 20% gold drop, and maybe the armor just to give me evasion plus defense. That way I'll be a little bit tougher. All right, this run's shaping up to be pretty good. As long as I don't do anything stupid, we'll be all right. So that's asking quite a lot, considering I just took all that damage. Well, we'll get ourselves some more healing, because that's always an option. And I think we have the boss battle coming up now, which is unfortunate, because I wish I had a ranged attack, if it's the same boss. Looks like it is, so yep, this is gonna be really difficult. I'm hoping I can just tank through it, because we got more defense and health than last time, I think, and plus I kind of know what I'm expecting from him, but we'll see how this goes. So far, I dodged everything he's thrown at me. There we go. I just gotta avoid those hands. And they're getting quicker. So hopefully I can just tank right through this. Uh-oh. I forgot about these things. And those are pretty unavoidable. Come on. Uh-oh. What is this? I get it now. Okay. I think he's dead. Did I get him? Yeah, we got 15 health left. Barely did that. Obviously, my reward is gonna be quite great. That is actually a huge explosion of gold. Excellent. How much does that give us? 14,000? Yeah, we're pretty rich now. And a big chest. And HP. I should kill more bosses. And what do we got? New items will appear in the dungeon. Ooh, skeleton king sword. And I found the bloodstone necklace, which will give me 20% max health. That's pretty good. We're going to replace something with that. Probably the cloth armor, probably that. I guess I probably got a lot of extra gold due to my accessories that give me extra gold. If this stuff is actually slippery, I'm going to lose my mind. So far, so good. Just standard stuff. Everything gets a little bit stronger for sure, though. I think the blue bat is a new one, so I can't wait to see what that does. What does hit me? I'm not sure what's happening anymore. This game's confusing. Ow. And okay, this guy's doing a lot of damage to me. I didn't even see what happened, but I just took a lot of damage. Please be a shop with healing. Oh, well, that was actually really good timing. This will make me survive for at least a few more rooms. 15 power, 13% max health. Yep that all day long. Why is there a buffalo in here? I didn't even see that thing up top. Okay, this is definitely going to kill me because I don't know how to deal with it. All right, one thing at a time. One health left. Okay, good. Glad I decided to tank this room out and the buffalo. Let's get it to charge. No, can I not jump? Oh, I can hit it from up here though. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Well, I had a good run. Those ice crystal explodey things are pretty hard to keep track of. Level 10 though. We've got two more points, so we're going to put one into that. 
Now all those plus items in the shop 30% cheaper. I kinda wanna work my way up to this for lack of a better idea when slain allows the adventurer to take one item back. Uh, and plus one dash charge which I don't care about but for now there's plus three critical chance innovation. And the shopkeeper actually has a ranged weapon at the store for 30% off and it's blue so we're gonna take that. That's gonna help us make it much further into the dungeon. Yeah, I like that. Also, what happened to all my gold? Didn't I have like 10,000? Did I spend it all? I'm not really sure where all that went, but I missed it already. And plus 10% maximum health right away, so that's a decent find in my first room. Oh, there's also a chest down below, which gives me the magical magnifying glass, which I've already had, but it does bullets become bigger and damage increase. 30% attack speed decrease. But look how big this thing is now. It's obnoxiously big. So cool, I won't miss enemies anymore. Or at least that's what I'll tell people. So here you go. Yeah, that's much easier. I'm gonna like this thing a lot. Because normally, all the enemies, I kind of don't know which one to focus on. With this thing, I can focus on all of them. Let's go for some extra power and evasion. Plus, we'll take the healing right now. 94 to 99. Normally, rooms like this are pretty big nightmare. Mostly because of those guys. But we took care of him pretty quick. And we found the shopkeeper already. Not sure if I have anything to sell. But I might want to buy some stuff for sure. And I'm not sure if this throwing weapon is considered a one-handed weapon or not. But I'm going to assume it is. So hopefully that's extra attack speed. I think it actually might be. It seems like it's a little bit quicker. But I might just be imagining things too. Oh, can I upgrade it here too? We're going to upgrade my boomerang. Wait, where'd it go? Boomerang, get in there. Enhance. Plus 10% whack. Plus 10% attack speed. Plus 20% better weapon performance. So... Okay, if I could get this thing out and back again in a big hurry, I would be really overpowered. I'm also really glad this thing's able to one-shot most enemies too, because the longer they last, the more damage you do to me. And the whole fact that it's a ranged weapon too, very helpful for me. For these rooms especially, this thing's gonna come in handy because look at it go to work. I hardly have to do anything, I mostly just dodge attacks. Before the boss fight, we're gonna sell whatever we don't need, which is just that one weapon, 323 gold, we have 3,000 left. The boss fight should be hopefully easy with what I've got, but I might also screw this up pretty badly. But I think I know what I'm doing by now. Hello? There you are. Hopefully this thing can kind of like linger on it and hurt it extra damage. Oh, okay, he didn't open with that last time. Okay, that was a lot of damage I didn't need to take. And again, outstanding. Okay, that is not gonna work for me. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna die here. This isn't good at all. Now if I can just avoid those hands for a moment, I think I'll be all right, but they do get quicker. Nope, he's going back to that thing again. Excellent. So we're just gonna tank some damage there. I'll pretend that was on purpose and... Oh no. Okay, i just gonna tank him at this point. Kate got him. Really gotta work on his boss fight mechanics. What is that floating thing? Oh, that's extra HP. I remember now. And the big chest is going to give us what? Horse killer sword. Well, I mean, any sword is a horse killer if you use it, right? It's a two-handed sword. Deal 1.5 times damage on the second attack. 23 to 25 damage. Well, it's definitely better than my basic sword, but I'm probably not going to use it because I still got this big thing. But that's what it looks like, and it's slow. And the frosty things are already doing a lot of damage because I don't know what any of them do. Uh, we're slowly getting it figured out. As long as I hit them, they die. That much I do know. I think I found a new character or just some dude with no shirt on. Ever seen you around? Yeah, I'm coming to rescue you. Whoever that was, he's been saved. What does a blue chest mean? It means I get a serrated sword and a bunch of gold. The serrated sword does what? Attack multiple times on the second attack. That's probably better than that. I'm never going to use it anyway, but let's just see what it looks like. Okay, it's a stab at a poke. Wow, finally someone decides to show up. Pretty tempted to buy this because it basically protects me from ranged attacks, which could be pretty potent for me. So I don't really want to get rid of all my items too. Like they're all so good, but maybe we'll try that. That mm, doesn't really help me. If I get multiples of those, we'll use that. But for now, we'll just kind of have it in our inventory. That would be the path to the next boss. We're not going to go there yet. Don't have room for any more healing yet. So we'll clear out a few more rooms and hopefully get a little bit more hungry. Then we'll get one bit of healing before the boss. There's a little bit more healing and one nightmare of a room. I think we're just about done though. So yep, great. That could have taken all my health very easily. Oh, we did make ourselves hungry. So we're not really going to get any more healing before the boss. Let's just go full on for power and just try and do as much damage as possible, as quick as possible, because I'm going to have no idea what the boss is doing either. Really glad I bothered to wander up this way right now. I was going to skip straight to the boss, but we got one of these item rooms. That's whatever this is. I don't really need any better weapons. I kind of want an accessory to hopefully help me with that boss. Ring of Midas. That's extra gold. And what does this do? Can I use this? Hello? I think I might have had to use this before those. It might have been 500 to re-roll them. Anyways, I feel like I'm probably going to need... Yeah, all of these before the boss. I'll put the ring on if I manage to beat it. Because that extra gold would be nice. But before the boss, not going to matter. Definitely super confident going into this battle. Already, I'm just loving the way this looks. He's got shields that I can probably go right through. Actually, this might be the perfect weapon for this boss if I can just destroy everything like that. Cool. 
Okay, yeah, this is gonna make it really easy, actually. I did not mean to do this. This is just one happy accident. Where'd he go? I destroy his shield, I destroy him, and everything else. I think I'm actually gonna do this on my first try. Was that him dead? Is he dead? Where'd he go? Uh-oh, I don't know what's happening. Okay, he's over there. Okay, he's almost dead as soon as I can find him. There we go. Is he dead? Now he is. Eight health left. Just scraped by. Look at all that gold. 16,000 gold, extra HP, and whatever the item is. Bloodstone ring. New items can appear, including a legendary that thing. This ring, I really like. Plus 44 enhanced gold damage, recover HP for every 10 enemies, and 4% attack speed. The Swamp Lands. I'm sure this will kill me pretty quickly, but we get a free item right away, so all right. Wing boots. 20% attack speed, your body feels lighter. Yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, probably replace it with that because I'm not really sure if my thing counts as a one-handed weapon or not. I'll find out right now. Mm, I don't know if that's any faster or not, but we're gonna use it. I don't know what these things are attacking me or how to deal with them. They're very quick. Okay. What is panic? Uh, panic fight everything. Grab all the buttons and we'll be okay. Hopefully this rewards me because this is a pretty tough room. But this extra jumping is nice because I can jump way out of the way where they can't get me and throw my big thing. It's a nice combination. I wonder if I can lure this idiot into the bandsaw. Come over here, dummy. Oh, it doesn't even hurt him. That's not fair. I just took a lot of damage when I didn't have to. I'm leaving this room with one health, so hopefully this is a food shop. It doesn't look like it is. Probably a death room. Uh, yep, this is not a good spot for me to be in. But I did get a little bit of health in the chest. Leather armor. That's probably a little bit better than that other armor I got rid of. Nope. Just plus eight defense. I'm calling it now. This room's going to be the end of me because there's too many things to avoid. Although now that I'm here, I can attack everything through the walls where they can't get me. So can I not hurt him? What did I do wrong? The boss already. Uh, yeah, we got a little bit more of this dungeon to explore. I need some healing before I'm even going to try that. Okay, I found the shop, which is kind of handy. Hopefully he has something amazing for me. Heal Warhammer is interesting because of the stun. Spike Ball is cool because it circles me, gives me plus critical chance, and attacks things for me. But nothing there is worth it, so I'm going to sell everything. And right next to the shop is the food shop, so I need all the healing I can get. How about this one? You are revived with half HP when slain. That's the most healing I'm going to get. Very expensive, but absolutely worth it. I should honestly just go fight the boss now. I'm never going to have more healing than I have right now. He's gonna kill me, I'm gonna revive, and then we'll try it again. 21 health to my name currently, but we can really look at it more like 70 health, if you see what I mean. Oh, I don't like this area at all. Probably gonna have to stay floating in the air as much as possible. Not really sure what to expect out of this, but... Uh, yup. This is gonna be difficult. Cool. Got him down to like 80% health, maybe? Ow. Okay, that was bad timing. And I'm back. Might just have to try and tank this one again. Yeah, don't mind me. I'll just be lying here resurrecting for a moment. And there we go. There's so many things to think about in dodge, like it's overwhelming. You really gotta learn this game. As long as I stay floating in the air a lot, though, I don't think it's gonna be too bad. Because things don't really... Okay, I've got 15 health left. I didn't realize I was taking that much damage. Make that 3 health. Maybe as long as I stay moving up and over, it'll make me very hard to hit. Oh, and we got another one of these again. I was really hoping he wouldn't spawn more of those. And I'm dead. I had him down to over half health, so that's pretty good again for my first try. Maybe like 12 hours of grinding will get me somewhere I need to be. So this increases attack speed. We're gonna need to go ahead and stack a few of those, which means killing a lot of idiots. The first item is a bundle of fireworks. Okay, and if we want, we can also get this item, which I don't want. But for a $50 chest, we get a green item. Chance on kill to drop a treasure, and I do like treasure. I'm also not particularly impressed with the lack of chests there are around the level. There are three of those pillars that I can use. They're gonna get expensive, but I can make do. And someone did actually drop me a treasure. I think it's just worth money, but that's okay, because I'm gonna need a lot of money. Probably shouldn't let so many of these idiots stack up behind me. There is also one of these. It doesn't really matter which item we take, because they're all gonna turn into attack speed anyway. Then we're also gonna take, uh, bleeding, but we're gonna turn that into now three attack speeds. So my attack speed now looks like this. We're doing much more damage than we were, and we've still got a long ways to go. And someone dropped the lunar coin, so I will definitely be picking that one up. $356 already, hoping for a little bit of luck. Okay, I got my first uh, item. Two items now, and the statue's out, but that's two extra attack speeds. Plus, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spend $35 here and just have less work to do. Trying our luck with the next statue. Okay, we got a green item to maybe fire a missile. 
Then we got a stun grenade that we can turn into more attack speed. And then we got one more statue to go, so we get another item that can turn into attack speed, two more items, one of which is attack speed. And since I have a Shrine of the Mountain here, I'm going to use it. We'll get uh, an extra item after the boss. Also, since I have a Scrapper here, I'm going to use it. I'm just going to turn everything I possibly can uh, back into attack speed again. So we're going to sacrifice that and the missile thing because uh, that's not really that entertaining to me. So we're going to go from this attack speed to this attack speed. Uh, apparently the 3D printer doesn't work with the scrap. I thought that's what it did do, but apparently not. Whatever the case, we've got eight uh, stacks of attack speed. So that means anything that has a chance on hit effect is going to be going off a lot. But even now, just this extra attack speed really makes things a lot easier. So let's see what the stronger boss thinks of this because of the shrine of the mountain we're gonna get an elite level two elite level bosses i don't think they're really gonna be that bad whoa long as i don't back myself into anywhere stupid all right this is actually a lot more difficult than i thought it was going to be uh luckily our attack speed is going to help us in a big big way i also would like to level up and place a banner down oh i don't have that anymore never mind I'm just gonna have to fight my way through this. All right, we're taking the high ground. Once I can actually just focus on the boss for a second, it won't take that long to defeat him. Uh, without the attack speed though, uh, this would not be happening very quickly at all. I think we got one of them dead. Yes, one of them is down. So I think stacking bleeds uh, it actually does more damage initially. I think attack speed will lead to more damage as soon as we have more items to uh, balance it with. But he's dead. Now we should get two items instead. So was it worth it? I don't really know. Full of the wisp, booth health and regeneration. I do kind of like that. Now we just hope for lots of good stuff to stack. And if we want damage reduction, we could turn it all into damage reduction, which isn't nearly as fun. I'd rather kill enemies at alarming speed. So we're going to see what this one gives me. That's a chance for critical hits. So now we're going to be doing a lot of critical hits because we're firing so many bullets. And also that get a temporary barrier on kill, which is good because we're going to kill a lot. And we just moved into medium difficulty. $120? What's so expensive? It is... My first piece of equipment, cheat death consumed on use. I think that brings me back to life. Now I'm not really sure what this is, a missile drone, $144 so it means it's gotta be worth it. And then we're gonna take one of these while killing that guy. This one, uh, hold an additional equipment charge. That's gonna be good as soon as we have better equipment. I do like this attack speed. We do need more effects to come off of it though. Stun, bleed, and critical hit would be great. Naturally I'm gonna get all three out of a single chest. Or we'll just settle for reduce incoming damage while sprinting. Some of these enemies are a little bit tougher, still not too bad. So we'll go ahead and fight the boss, who looks like that. Yeah, he's gonna melt pretty quickly with our uh, attack speed. And so will everything else around me. But I'm mostly just gonna focus on him because the quicker we kill him, the quicker we get to move on to new items. Nothing here is even really hurting me too badly yet. Probably could, but for now we're pretty tough. And he's dead with a big explosion which gave us one of these. Chance on kill to drop an ammo pack to reset skill cooldowns, which brings us to the snow level. So as soon as the idiots actually want to start appearing, we'll start making some money for upgrades. And we are now into hard mode, so things are going to start getting more and more difficult. But we also seem to be making money pretty quickly, so we're going to take one of these, drop a healing orb on kill. That's not super exciting, but it is pretty helpful. An adaptive chest, it says. I'm not really sure what that means, but hopefully that's something good. Oh... I see, it cycles through items and we get to pick something. All right, well, uh, I don't know, this? We got a rusty key, so I actually kind of like that. I was hoping that from up here, we'd be able to see some kind of fun items. Uh, it's mostly just a statue, but I'll take the armor reduction the armor increase rather damage reduction uh we got also a hapu feather so we get an extra jump like that but i'm pretty sure the chest over there is like a damage chest sort of thing so we're definitely going to go open that we have 730 dollars and this is only uh 118 dollars so that's definitely worth opening because then we're going to get the missile back and then we're going to get extra movement speed and i actually really like that then we're going to open this one for 100 dollars. i feel like money's coming very easy uh to me now a uh, chance to block incoming damage i could have stacked armor plates and bears and we could have actually been almost like invulnerable to damage we wouldn't have been doing much though so it wouldn't have been very fun i'm also gonna do the gunner drone for 150 dollars uh okay i guess i missed it 150 dollars for a new gunner drone that's gonna help me along the way because i'm also gonna do the shrine of combat because i want what it's going to give me I'm not really sure which of these it's spawned for me not that it matters they'll all be very dead very soon just gonna focus on the quickest to kill first because that takes their damage out of the equation did i do it was that all of them well, we got $1,400 to spend. We better get spending on something. Slow enemies on hit. That's a good one because we hit them a lot. Also just realized I don't know where the boss is yet. I could turn some items here into chance to critical hit. 
I think I'm gonna... No, we already lost attack speed for doing that. I don't want to do that anymore. But we do have a little bit more uh, critical hit chance. $39 for a fan. Oh, I see. It brings us up top. Found the boss, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a touch. And it's a big smiley moron who can teleport, so that's really annoying. But we should be able to do lots of damage with our attack speed and critical hit. I don't know if we can... Yeah, we can slow the boss. Which is kind of interesting. He can teleport though, so it's not really a big deal. The Imp Overlord. But we're taking him down pretty quick, so I'm not going to complain. Wouldn't mind finding some red quality items at some point. You know, maybe a chance on hit of some kind. Uh, I think he's dead, so we'll just work on everything else now. Shouldn't take long. There were a lot of enemies that spawned around me. It's kind of surprising. $2,000 though. Too bad I don't have anything to spend it on. But we did also get dealing damage heals you. That's going to be a good one. So for every bullet we fire, we get one health. And we fire a lot of bullets. Which brings us to this place. So we're going to find something to kill right away and then find all of our upgrades. What would be great right now is a chance to stun on hit. Because we can stun and slow enemies. For now we can slow that thing that's way, way over there. He's going to have a long time getting to us because we're slowing him down along the way. Oh, our big lizard friend is also coming this way, but he's not really that strong anyway. Uh, the jellyfish monster is also getting kind of close to us. And we aren't a very hard now, so I need to start paying a little more attention. Because things like this could happen, and that's pretty dangerous. If it knocks me somewhere I don't want to go, we're going to be in trouble. But it's dead now, and now we just got to deal with a few more idiots, but we already have almost $1,000 to spend. So eventually, I will find the upgrades that I want. $150 for this one. Uh, detonate enemies on kill. I think I already had one of those from the very first boss. Another missile drone for $360. I might as well open that, because I always have an excess of money by the end of the levels anyway. And then I also have a lot of drones doing a lot of work for me. And I really like that, because I'm pretty lazy. I think this is the rested lockbox, yeah, that I can open with my key that I got. Activating an interactable summon to squid turret nearby. Well, that's okay. I found another attack speed thing. Should we stack more attack speed? Maybe we should. We're going more attack speed. You can never have too much. We're just going to sacrifice all the white items I have to get more attack speed. Oh, another interactable. Good. We're going to have lots of turrets nearby that are going to help us out because the boss is also right here too. Look how many turrets I have. I think they're doing most of the work at this point. Anyways, we now have uh, 13, I think soon to be 14 stacks of attack speed. So we now have 200% attack speed. That's actually an achievement. Didn't know that. So our attack speed now... Uh, okay, I didn't get a chance to uh, shoot that thing. We'll open this though, and that's going to give us deal extra damage to bosses. I kind of like that one, so I'm not going to turn that into attack speed. We're also going to turn this on. As I was saying, our attack speed looks like that now, so it's very quick. Then I'm going to take this, because uh, that's going to increase my health by one for killing an enemy, and we're going to kill a lot of enemies. And I think I've had my fun here, so we're going to kind of quiet the enemies down a little bit, and then we're going to summon the boss. And I am still getting healed every time I shoot an enemy, so we're actually getting lots of health per second as long as I'm shooting something. And I have a lot of turrets in the neighborhood, so uh, wherever the boss is, there it is. He's going to take a lot of damage just from turrets. Ow. So this thing is able to hurt me a little bit, uh, but I'm also obviously able to hurt it pretty bad, and so are my turrets. Especially considering it's so big that I think it's always in range of my turrets, really. That are uh, also everywhere. There's a ton of turrets right here. Alright, the worm is just about dead. Ow. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get back in the zone. And as soon as it wants to make an appearance again, we will... No, nope, it's already dead. Never mind. I think the turrets probably got it. And we got the feather. Gain an extra jump. So we've got two extra jumps now. How fun. Okay, let's see what's next. We have three missile turrets, a gunner drone, another missile drone, and another gunner turret. The sky meadow. We could be really annoying to enemies and stack those. That's going to keep them like perpetually slowed. But I don't think it's useful because... Uh, by the time we have something that slowed for that long, it's going to be dead anyway. These turrets are great so far. I don't think I've even shot a single thing and I made $120. That looks kind of dangerous. Probably going to work pretty hard to avoid that, but we're also going to open this for $200. And that's going to give us periodically release a healing nova. That sounds okay to me. I do like being alive. Okay, and I can actually kill the thing that's shooting the big rings at me. Uh, it's a little ways away, so I don't know if we're doing a ton of damage from here. But we'll go get that in a few minutes so much money to spend still uh rapidly heal outside of danger that one's okay uh one more nothing but we have lots of squid turrets here and we can use that again if you want to i killed a flurry of enemies it was actually enough to have the money for that i don't think i'm gonna use it for 550 dollars so i want to move on just realized we're almost all the way through insane difficulty suddenly almost into impossible and i hadn't even noticed 
So we're going to kill these mushroom guys and we're going to kill them pretty quick because of that attack speed. Then we're going to open this for hopefully something amazing. What do we got? Killing enemies surrounds you with an ice storm. I do like that. That's very good. So I just need to make sure to keep killing enemies. Uh, okay, he's getting a little bit, well, whatever. Look at that big guy. We'll go get him in a sec because there's a few more upgrades along the way. We're even going to bring our ice storm over to him. And here's our ice storm. So as long as we're pretty close to enemies, we'll be doing all right. Then we're going to open this one. And that's going to give us gain a recharging shield. That's also pretty good because that's kind of like absorbing free hits sometimes. All right, now let's see what we can do with this guy. Mm, he's got lots of health. Probably hits pretty hard. Uh, but as soon as I pop my ice shield, I'm going to run into him and hopefully that's going to help. We're also going to open that because that's going to give me a squid turret right there. And we're also going to kill the bell because I think that's going to give me my ice storm. We're going to bring the ice storm over to him and see if he likes it. I don't know if it's making much of a difference, but he's dying either way. Not even sure what this guy is, but he better give me a lot of money. $800 now, $1,600. So I think he gave me $800 all by himself. And we're also firmly into impossible difficulty. There's a few more 3D printers, but I don't want to exchange my item speed now. I'm kind of liking this uh, squid thing, so we're going to take another one of those. Every time we use an interactable, we hire, uh, we get a squid turret this one they're now gonna have whoa, twice as much damage so there's a squid turret that spawned from that chance on hit to bomb an enemy that's gonna be good because we hit enemies a lot and we get another squid turret i don't think the squid turrets out are super strong but if we get enough of them i think they do stack up to some like because i'm not doing anything to him that's all drone damage no idea where the boss is don't know what this is let's kill the things we don't know uh from that we also got uh heal all enemies after standing nearby for one second standing still for one second so if we do that we can heal everything this is a pretty fun build because as i run around touching upgrades i basically spawn a bunch of turrets that kill everything for me and make me more money for more upgrades okay we're gonna take the ukulele for a chance to do a uh, chain lightning because we fire a lot of bullets so we're probably gonna get a lot of chain lightning I don't think the boss is going to be over that way. I think he's going to be down below. But we'll take another upgrade. Chance to fire a missile. So we're going to be firing a lot of different things now when we hit things. But we'll go look down here. Hopefully finding... I remember this level now. And I'm already annoyed. So if I was a boss teleporter, where would I be? It's tricky because on a level like this, it could be really close and you just wouldn't see it. Because there's so many uh, edges and you lose line of sight in so many places. I want to go over there. Oh, I forgot I had the extra jumps. I can go up there. This is another feather, so I get an extra, extra, extra jump. So I can fly like these guys if I want to. Not that I particularly want to, but I definitely want whatever's in this. Which is going to be more attack speed. Also, as I was saying, uh, the boss thing was actually right below me. But I'm pretty sure I have lots of turrets in the air. Area. So he's probably going to be in a bit of trouble. We're going to kill the lizard boy first. You know what? We're just going to kill him. We've already fought one of these. Yeah, the damage is going down pretty quick. He's dead. No, what did he give us? He gave us turn invisible at low health. That's kind of a fun one. And I get a free respawn too. So I'm going to be invisible and indestructible. $3,000 and nothing to buy. But we're going to leave impossible difficulty and go into ICU. Which brings me to our favorite place in the world. I really like this level uh, all the running you have to run all through the level and the running is just a really nice touch but every once in a while there is something to actually fight and kill and they're obviously getting pretty tough actually whatever this is is really really tough that took a lot of bullets to bring down and that's even with my army of drones well i see lots of blue lasers over there so i'm pretty sure i'm going that way not really sure if i could or should make this jump but i'm yeah i'm definitely gonna do it well it was nice of them to put them all so close together for me i don't really know what this thing's gonna do Let's give it a healthy bit of space, but also just walk right through it now that we see that it's gonna be not much of anything. Okay, we're gonna activate that pillar. And then we get another idiot. See if we can bring her- oh, we lost our ice storm. Do we have another ice storm? No, just these guys. That attack speed really is helping me heal in a hurry though. Look at my health going up. So as long as nothing really does huge chunks of damage, I think we'll be able to survive most everything. Oh, this is one of those annoying ones where you have to sit like right in the cube. Okay, I get it. Okay, and that kind of sucks because things can do that to the ground and I need to stand there for a second. So I need to kill those uh, rolling balls before they get close to me because I can't really stand up to their damage. Maybe if I stand still. My drones are firing at something, but I can't actually see what it is, but okay this one's done anyway so let's do this one which is a lot quicker thankfully and we got a squid turret to help us okay that's pillar number two done is that what i think it is yeah i've had these for a while so i might as well because what else am i gonna do hooks of heresy replace your secondary skill with slicing maelstrom i'll take your word for it 99 100 pillar number three is done and the slicing maelstrom thing looks like this it just sends forward a whole slicing circle that slowly annihilates things that touch it and we're back to that running feature that they love so much in this level should probably also deal with this thing that's following me 
Ah, oh, this is gonna be pretty annoying to deal with because it's got so much health. Uh, we'll just, I guess, sit right here and eventually get through it. Wow, it does a lot of damage when it hits me. Wish I had my Ice Storm right now. Oh, that's not gonna help either. Actually, this will give me my Ice Storm. Uh oh. That's a lot of damage. Wow. I didn't think something like this could hurt me so bad. Ow. All right, well, I think I get a resurrection, though. So, yep, there we go. Joke's on you, stupid. But that's a pretty clear indication that things here can and will hurt me. So, let's activate this and deal with what we get. Oh, we gotta stay inside, don't we? Right, well, I can heal by standing still. I can heal by shooting things. So, I'm really hoping I can just stand here and get away with this because I want to be lazy right now. Okay, this seems to be done already. So, let's move on. And the difficulty is soon about to step up one more time. So, I'm kind of in a hurry to move on. So, let's go up here and try and deal with Idiot Stick. Kind of wish I still had my resurrection thing because I know he hits pretty hard. So, let's see if we can sit somewhere where he's going to have trouble hitting us. I don't know if this counts. Not really. Well, he didn't hit us though, actually, so that's a good star. Ow. He hit us there, though. I know he's got something that hits very hard. Uh, clearly he hasn't displayed it yet, because we're still alive. That might have been it, where he does a little flurry of many things. Uh oh I don't know where he went. Let him. Well, if we're holding still, we can heal. Uh, I don't know if we should hold still for very long with him. Oh, I can slow him, though. Okay. This will make him easier to dodge. Yeah, you can have some of that too while you want. One of those... He definitely does a lot of damage. I gotta watch out for that one. I gotta remember I can roll like this. Maybe I'll just stand on my rock mostly. I like my rock. So we'll give him a little bit of that to deal with. We will dodge his... Well, I meant to dodge there. He can't even hit me with those. He doesn't know his own range. Yeah, I think I've got this one in the bag now. I think I'm a little bit tougher than before. Damage might be a little bit lacking, but we're still doing all right. So as long as he doesn't pull out anything outrageously new or surprising, we're going to be okay because I think right. he's dead. Oh, now we have a Lunar Chimera. Not really sure which one that is. Is it you? I'm taking a lot of damage from something too. I'm going to hold still and see if I can just heal and shoot my way through this. Don't really know why I lo Oh, yeah, that can go airborne. Okay, never mind. We're going to be okay. Okay, you're dead. Then we're going to kill you. Then we're going to kill you guys. I'm not really sure which the actual boss is. Something's been hitting it. It hasn't been me. Okay, we're going to start moving because something really started to stack up the damage. Okay, I'm going to hold still and see if I can get some health back. That hurts. Okay, stay out of that. Okay, we're going to stand still here for a second and heal up again. That's a Lunar Chimera, this thing, I think. Whoop, don't stand in that. We're learning. Also, let's kill some of these other idiots around the way, because they're definitely hurting us. And this, actually, we should have got that out of the way initially. Okay, I think everything's about dead. Oh, I see everything together was a Lunar Chimera. That makes sense. All right, well, it's dead. Can I have a reward now? Nope, we're back to the king of nothing. Cool name. I'm also the king of nothing. Uh, all right. Well, he's got a few new tricks up his sleeve. Can I stand on your pillar then? How does that feel, king of nothing? Since he wanted to put me up here, I might as well stay up here because I think I'm actually fairly safe overall because things like that don't touch the ground. Yeah, I'm pretty safe up here. I don't do a ton of damage because the accuracy sucks him up here. But I can definitely hit those guys a little bit. I'm going to take my business over here because I think I do have an advantage when I'm up on top of something. Also going to kill that thing down there because he's going to get annoying quick. Also definitely am into the hardest difficulty right now. Again, I think as I'm up here, none of that stuff really matters because I'm that stuff's on ground floor. Yeah, he's just not that smart. He can't really figure out how to get up here. Well, he's mostly down there kind of swinging around like that and hitting my drones. I'm still able to hit him and do quite a bit of damage. So this will work for me. So in total, he has about 40,000 health. Uh, he's down to about 17 and a half thousand of those. Oh, look at you trying to climb a small ramp. Yeah, I really feel like my damage is lacking because he's obviously very strong, but I wouldn't be able to melt even enemies like this. But maybe one day we'll get there. I do find it kind of funny how they added ramps like this, or at least a ramp, and he really can't function around it. Like, he's just completely powerless to do anything about me right now. And then I can still, like, even slow him down, which seems weird. To slow down an enemy like that seems a little overpowered in a way. Okay, he's down to his last thousand health, so he's dead. Okay, uh, I think that might be the end. Oh, is he taking my upgrades? I am, uh, confused. Okay, he's gonna have 13,000 health, and I think I just lost almost all of my upgrades. So, if he needs me, I'll be up here just doing this. He can potentially hit me. Oh, I got my speed back. 15 attack speed. That's going to make a big difference. I think I'm only supposed to get one upgrade at a time, but because I had so many of those, I get 15 upgrades back. I'm not doing a ton of damage from my O here, but I'm doing enough that I'm safe. 
He does so much damage to me that uh, I'm worried I'm going to die if I get close. Well, I'm getting a lot of my uh, upgrades back now, so things are just going to escalate more and more towards him. Even those don't really hurt me that bad, but I'm not going to risk getting close. And there's my lifesteal that I needed. Okay, he's down to under 1,000 health again. He's down to 500 health. He's getting hard to hit because he's crouching. And he's dead. Uh, this time he looks more dead than last time. Moon detonation imminent. Well, what am I supposed to do with that? Am I supposed to just die in three minutes? I used to have an objective to find a way to rescue the ship. Uh, I thought I pretty much already did that. Okay, so apparently I'm actually supposed to jump into one of these portals because I looked it up. Pretty sure there was one like right behind me, but this will work. And then we just need to find our way back to our ship, which is over there. All the while, lots of things are going to be trying to kill me. Uh, luckily, I have a lot of jumping ability, which strangely is actually going to come in a lot of handy. One jump to make that entire leap. All right, that's pretty good. I'm just gonna run straight back, really. Well, obviously trying to avoid everything, but I think if I'm in the air, not many things really can hurt me. If this guy wants to die, that's fine. He's welcome to die. I wonder if he didn't have any speed upgrades if he wouldn't physically be able to make this run. Not really sure what that thing is. Don't really care, because I just want to get in my ship and leave. Okay, now we have to charge our ship, I guess. So we're going to have to fight everything back along the way, but that's okay because we're pretty strong. Uh, what happens if my countdown doesn't reach a thing in the next 45 seconds? Do we lose? Probably shouldn't back myself into the ship because I'll be very cornered. Okay, we're going to jump around a bunch. Kind of really need to kill these things right now, huh? They're not really coming close enough for my ice storm, but we'll just take them out one at a time. Okay, we got 20 seconds left on the uh, big timer. I'm not sure where my ship is at. 60, okay. Not really sure how this is going to play out. I think the moon uh, might explode. Oh, it was so close. 95%, but we're up by a second and a half. Guess I shouldn't have screwed around so much running for the ship. This one might be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, this one's going to be really hard to beat. Oh, it disappeared. This one hates me. You are ugly and I hate you. Hmm. The other beats were nicer. Conveniently, now that I created a giant land full of absolutely nothing, the game had an update, so we can actually fill this with all new stuff. I'm just taking one last little stroll around in case the file gets corrupted on the update and I lose all its progress. I think once I do update it, I am going to have to buy the islands to make this stuff spawn, but I'm not really sure what to expect at this point, so let's just go for it. Well, this isn't where I logged out, but this is going to have to work. The game should have updated. This is, however, in the beta, so there might be some bugs. And it reset my skills. I assume that's because we have some new ones to play with, but we'll take a look at those in just a moment. I want to see what's out there in the world. The edge of the map, right where I expected it to be. Another corner, nothing new yet. Forger probably doesn't also love the fact that I filled this all in with landfill instead of buying the islands. I have no idea what the game's thinking at this point. The menu's sure different. I go to eat the beat and it brings me over to this menu, which is actually really nice. It's just not what I'm in the habit of doing yet. All right, the corners of the map do seem to be exactly where I left them, which probably isn't a huge surprise to me. I do have 11 million coins burning a hole in my pocket, so let's start buying some land. Yeah, you know what? I want to tear that up anyway because I'm really sick of the noise those makes. What's over here? Nothing new. That's not new. That's not new. Nothing. Oh, I was wondering what they were attacking. They're all attacking my buildings now because they're annoying. I'm going to have to build some of the ballistas or whatever there to help defend from these things because they're just going to go ham destroying all my stuff. Probably also going to need to build a sword and maybe some fortifications at some point because there's a lot of enemies and they're really destroying everything really quickly. I bet the great fairy loves the fact there's a flower press in her fountain. Ow, what is this? I thought it was an NPC. I came to say hi to it. No one wants to kill me. So we're going to leave that alone for a minute because I'm not very strong right now. That's all right. The only cure for that is obviously buying more land, probably full of new creatures that will kill me even faster than the ones I just found. This one's definitely a new rock. I'm not sure if that's a new ore or just a new sprite for it. We'll investigate that in just a second. As in right now, what is this? Okay, you get out of the way. I don't really have a lot of... Yeah, never mind. What I'm actually going to do is level myself up a few times, that way I can actually deal with these things. Right away we can get the 25% XP perk now, which means it's probably something new in this direction. This one used to be right here. Swords are probably going to be a thing. Yeah, simple evasion. Increase dodge chance by 15%. Yes, please. A hammer? That should be fun. Railroads. All I ever wanted in life was railroads and forager. I can't even wait to see what that becomes. Should we start taking bets right now on how long it's going to take me to corrupt this file? Ooh, sparkly buildings. This will be good. Auto repair. Well, that sounds handy. Astrology way down here in the bottom right unlocks cosmic steel. Star falls happen more frequently. Most importantly, I'm going to want some cauldrons. That way I can make bombs to move whatever I need out of my way. Also, void steel is a thing too, so we've got all sorts of new materials we got to work with. Before I unlock any more, I think idiot stick ran away, so I have a chance to finally... What is this? 
Obsidian. That's a new one. Probably used for making one of those new steels. Spawns a friendly companion. I don't really know why I want one of those, but I'll take it. Wait, aren't the droids companions? Just like that, I've got 10 points left over from things I probably don't want anyway. Let's go play with all this new stuff and see what kind of mess we can make. A beat? Can I get something better? I wasted a skill point to have a beat follow me around? It seems as though all this new stuff, like the void steel and the cosmic steel, are going to take star fragments to make, plus a legendary gem. I have no idea where or how to find these things. You saw nothing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find some spirit orbs so I can get just a little more health because I'm having a tough time of it here. So we're going to sacrifice ourselves. Oh, no we're not. But we are going to take these chests to grab at least one of these. Were these always for spirit orbs or just giving these things away now? I know I was making it look hard for the first five minutes, but damn. And getting these kind of gives me an idea. I'm going to use them for now to get some extra health because I'm getting murdered really quick. But I did notice it said there's a lot of new bosses in the game, so we might go for damage increases. I'm pretty sure we can get pretty much unlimited of those. And in theory, I can get unlimited spirit orbs. So maybe I'll spend the next 12 hours of my life making the bosses look useless in Forager. The hammer is used to repair structures. I'm pretty sure my structures are self-repairing at this point, so I don't really care. Let's maybe go for a sword. And this guy just sitting there destroying my mining rod you're lucky it doesn't shoot back maybe uh we'll make a few ballistas while we're at it just to help kind of you know fight the slime army that's probably good for now they'll at least yeah whatever i don't even care you know what in hindsight i probably should have maxed out a bunch of my items before doing the update because now i need things like avoid rose to make a robotic shovel i don't know where to find that basic skeletons don't attack me anymore well, that's kind of discriminating. Also, my furnaces have two mystery items. I've unlocked every skill I could that could possibly find things, so I'm not really sure what that's about. There's so many new things to play with, I barely know where to start. I just need to give myself as much damage as possible. I've just realized my little helper beat does do something. If something falls on the ground, it goes and gathers it up for me. Just like a droid, but not quite as useful. Electronics now take obsidian instead of plastic to make. I'm not sure how much I like that, but I think I do so far. From a chest in the red biome, I found the Lunar Medallion. Star falls happen more frequently, which is good because I've seen an entire zero so far. Naturally, a great way to do damage is with swords, so I'm going to start upgrading those. A couple great skulls, so we'll have that one, we'll keep working our way up. But also bombs. And I'm going to start to use some of the spirit orbs I'm finding on energy, because I'm running out of energy fast. I need 10 royal steel for the next sword, so every one of my furnaces is getting two. Still seem to be getting some biome overlap since some obsidian is currently growing near the beats in the green zone. Still not sure where that's happening, but I'm not complaining. And since my lighthouses are no longer down here near my quarry, I'm going to move my quarry up to the lighthouses in the snow zone. That way they can actually be useful again. And we're going to start to build everything for half price, because I want to do it this smart way now. And conveniently, my shrine is hiding in the building, so it doesn't take up any space. I am just a little bit concerned about having any structures up here that the monsters could potentially just destroy, but I'm going to leave them undefended for a while because I'm lazy. Got enough of the demon pickaxe, so that's going to be a nice touch. I like exploding resources. The upgraded pickaxes are going to be pretty essential here too, because I know some of the new resources we have are going to be harder and harder to mine. At least that's going to be my excuse for endlessly upgrading things. A void pickaxe. That's new. Void steel. Where do you find all this void stuff? I'm pretty sure I've unlocked the entire map. This item's kind of interesting. Market restock time is reduced by 25%. If I had a market, I would be thrilled about that. To find some of these new items and biomes, I might actually have to buy all the land. I didn't realize I didn't already have it all bought because I was smart enough to put lighthouses in one of the biomes. So I'm missing about three islands up here. I don't want to buy the islands yet because I don't want to remove the lighthouses. At least not yet, because if I buy the islands, it will remove the lighthouses and I won't be able to get them back until I get an obliterator and can make more water. Here's a sword though. I do like the new infinite options on the furnaces. You can just have them going endlessly. Craft infinite iron bars. Craft infinite steel. So now that I've started to actually pay attention to things, here at my spirit forge, I can actually make void steel and cosmic steel. To make void steel though, I need a void stone. I don't know where to find void stones, but I'm gonna find out. I think we might actually be starting to make some progress because I found something called a star scroll. I haven't found it, I found how to make it. All I need is a few more papers, obsidian, purple pigment. Alright, well I guess it's time to see what these do. But just in case it does something bad, I'm gonna do it in the beat patch. Hopefully it kills one of them. Alright. And something coming down. Oh yeah, there it is. Cool, it falls from the sky. Let's see if we can hit a beat with that though. I'll give it a few of these. I like my odds. One in three chances surviving. Yep, we're good. And I wonder how hard it is to mine. Oh, not very hard at all. Star fragments, 10 of them. Okay, that seems easy enough to do. I know how to get these now. Next time, I should probably do that by my lighthouses. Since things are going very slowly, thanks to my very slow electronics, I'm going to make more power plants. But in order to do that, I'm going to destroy these and build new ones at half price. Which shouldn't hopefully take too long, provided one of these eventually gives me half price building. That only took about five rebuilds. Structures cost half. And I should be able to make all four of them since all they cost is electronics. It's just a matter of fitting them in properly so they actually have an effect on things. Just kidding, I still don't 
don't have enough to build my fourth one because I used some of my electronics building my newest pickaxe. Sword. This one. Next, of course, would be the Void Sword, something I've never seen before. Chance to shoot fireballs when attacking. I need Void Steel and the Kraken's Eye. Which leads me to think, with all this Void stuff I'm missing, that there's a Void Biome somewhere, and I don't have access to it yet, thanks to my lighthouses. Well, let's try the Starfall right here by my lighthouses. That way, when it crashes, I'll get extra stars. Wherever that landed. I heard it. These new frozen ghost things are really annoying, so these are pretty well done. Every time I walk up here, I get obliterated by them and or frozen. But that won't stop me because I need lots of lavender for reasons I don't remember. Maybe the key to the new biomes is actually something to do with this sigil maker. I can actually make one of these now because I figured out how to get a star fragment, so let's see what this thing does. Now this is just a guess. But I'm thinking the void portal takes me to the void biome. And I can even make one of these, electronics fiberglass star fragment. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so that should just probably teleport me there once and I'll deal with it from there. Before we do that, I've got 11 star scrolls. I need to try and land on these slimes. There's one coming just south of me. Maybe they can't hit those. Not the slimes, the beets. Oh, that one would have hit it. Wait, did one die here? I wasn't really paying attention. That's okay. Well, I guess let's go explore whatever this is. Oh, okay, so it makes a... Great. This should be fun. Hopefully there's something here to mine. Defeat all the enemies before the time runs out. I'm mostly just here for the void stuff. Thanks though. So am I stuck? No, I can build my way around. Good thing I have lots of this stuff. Okay, I think this is probably what we're after. The enemies sound good and all, but I'm not really very strong right now. I mostly just want to get as much of this to make as much void steel as I can. Then I'll come back and defeat everything super easy. I might take a hit on one thing just to see what it's like. Yeah, we'll see how strong these are. Not overly yet, but I feel like some of these are going to be way overpowered. It's times like this when I really miss the obliterator. I'd be one-shotting these rocks instead of slowly picking away at them, considering only have one minute left. I guess I do have bombs for a reason that should take care of that while I'm eating. Maybe not, this stuff's a little bit tougher than I thought. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on, seeing what I can find. Can I build stuff in here? Oh, I was going to build lighthouses everywhere if I could. It's going to be a slow process trying to mine everything in here. Is this the last enemy? Oh, there's just an arrow to it, so I thought it might be a special one. Nope, just a random moron. But I definitely did get enough to make this started, so I can get eight void steels already. And these are going to be super expensive thanks to all the electronics they take, so I'm just going to have an endless electronics thing set up. I've also set up a mining rod down here where I can just mine obsidian endlessly. I don't have any lighthouses nearby, but it will just continually get me obsidian. That's the one thing I keep running short on. It's even going to have its own personal ballista defending it. So that'll hang out there for now. In, you know, half an hour, I'm going to have lots of obsidian. Well, let's dive back in and see if we can get some more of that steel or the void stones, whatever it is. Even that I'm in the void biome, I think this is going to be where I'm going to find the void rose. And we're finally ready to make the void pickaxe. That's the one that makes things explode. And I've never used this one before, so I'll be able to mine things ever faster. Which is great because I seem to be spending a lot of time mining things these days. But the explosions really are great because they destroy everything around them and it makes mining so much faster. Especially in areas like these, where I somehow have trees next to the big rocks, because if I destroy the tree, it explodes the stuff around them and does a lot of damage. While we're at it, we're going to get some skull gloves so we can attack even faster, and some skull boots because I'm very impatient. Today at the market, I found a destroyer sigil. It is worth zero, and I received it. Great. No idea what that does. Probably nothing really good. So we should probably see what that does right away. Interesting. Its effect seems to be nothing at all. At least at this point, so that was a waste. But the rest of these sigils basically just spawn bosses. I don't really want to spawn one yet because I feel like it's going to kill me and probably most of my base, so we're going to wait on that. And how about some demon boots that don't actually look like boots? Movement speed increased by 50%, more dodge a chance. What do you suppose a cosmic gate is and why does it cost $14,200? We need to investigate immediately. Don't need those, give me one of these. Alright, this should be fun. What's this going to do? Oh, is it just a gate? Oh, well that's fine too. And for a lot of the things now, it looks like I'm gonna actually have to start making fiberglass again, which I need plastic for. So that's gonna be fun. I'm really hoping I can upgrade the shovel instead of having to get the offshore drill, because there's not a lot of water left to work with. And more gloves. Attack speed increased by 40%. That means faster everything. Here's what I'm gonna do now to try and make some quick progress. I've just made three potions that basically make me do extra damage. I'm gonna reset this shrine so that as soon as I can, I'm gonna find one that makes me move faster. Between extra movement speed and damage, I'm gonna tear through this place, hopefully finding something new and helpful. Okay, I found it. Move twice as fast, attack twice as fast. That's gonna get me started. Let's go in here before we use the potions to make sure they do work in here. Potion one. Uh, that's a thunder lightning one. There's this one, which is something about damage. 
And I was sure I had one more, but for now we'll just kind of make this work. Gotta make a way to all the enemies very quickly, already wasting time, hopefully killing them all and seeing what's next in here. The enemies are actually dying so fast that it's hard to keep track of them. I basically build up to them and my lightning does the rest of the job. This biome might actually be really, really hard to complete, given everything I've just done to boost myself, and looks like I'm probably still gonna fail unless this is like the last enemy. It's also hard to see him amongst all my crap, but I've just light speeded around to kill that one and there's still more enemies to kill, so I have no idea what it's gonna take to complete this. I need to do better. It makes it look so easy when I'm back out in the real world. When I'm in that biome though, everything's so much harder, it takes so much longer to do anything. We found a skull sigil we can buy, so definitely gonna get on that right away. I am however not going to use it right away. You know what, just kidding, let's use it right now and see what happens. Skeleton King, where is he? Oh I see him. Let's, uh, let's just see how this goes before I have all my upgrades anyway. He's definitely very strong now. He's probably going to kill me as soon as he actually hits me or something. Okay, they made the bosses pretty strong in this. That's okay. This is just a test run. We'll do it before and after. This is what it looks like now. And later I'm going to one-shot him with something. Hopefully. There may be some collateral damage with the beats. I'm not really sure yet. Hey, get away from my base. I need this. So far it mostly looks like he can't really hit me with anything. I'm just kind of walking around hitting him and he's not doing anything about it. Or I'm just killing the small enemies quick enough that they heal me. I'm not really sure. He's almost dead though, so this is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Defeat the skeleton king and I get four skull chests out of the deal. I'm not sure how long that took, that was a few minutes of just attacking him. And wouldn't you know it, spirit orbs. Still nothing new though that would help me get some newer materials. I want a better pickaxe and sword, still have no idea where to get that stuff. This should be maximum health I think, I don't think we can do another row. Oh we can. Okay, well, we're going to keep going to max out our health for now. Looking at this, the Skeleton King should be about the mid-boss. The Slime Guy should be easier because he's easier to spawn. The Beat should be the hardest. And I'm just going to go ahead and sacrifice one of my lighthouses now because I need the offshore oil thing for making plastic. And of course, it's enormous. So I'm going to have to destroy a few lighthouses to do this, and I really don't want to do that. It seems I managed to finish the first area in the Void Biome. Not sure where this is going to take me, if anywhere good at all. Just more of the same, level 2, so I guess we're just doing the same thing. I don't know where to get the Void Roses from, but those would be pretty helpful right now. I suddenly find myself in need of beats. So you know what that means. These guys have to die. 61 there. These will give me a few hundred beats. It'll get me going again. No problem. And it turns out using the Druid Scroll in the Void Biome doesn't give you Void Roses. But it was a nice thought. Well, since I've been running out of cotton at an alarming rate, I've made a cotton farm near the lighthouses to hopefully get me going again. You know what? While I'm waiting for all my resources to get caught up, let's summon the slime boss. We'll fight him now. We'll fight him again later, hopefully when we're a little more overpowered. I also have this star sigil on me, and I'm not sure if it actually does anything. We're going to use all four of those just because we can. Maybe that'll make stars fall. And let's see what this slime boss is all about. The last one really wasn't as hard as I thought. I don't think this one's going to be much different. In fact, this one should probably be a little bit easier. And so far, it is. The little slimes actually work to my benefit because as I kill them, I get my energy back. One more hit. Two more hits. Come on. There we go. Do I get any good reward for killing these guys? I really want to find out where to get more of these void materials. Just the usual orbs, but I'll take those. Using those for at least, I think has maxed my health unless they change the limit. Now I can work on stamina and then finally damage. I just happened to find this guy. This is the Traveling Merchant, a new addition. I had no idea he existed, but he sells me all the stuff I need, apparently. So right now I'm going to sell him some stuff that I don't really want anymore. Then we're going to buy some Kraken's Eyes and Cosmic Steel. Not sure why he sells other void portals, so we're going to go ahead and buy those too, and the off chance they'll take us somewhere to where we need. So if we use another one of these, does it do anything? I don't know if we're even allowed to use it again. Oh yeah, we made a second portal. Does it take us to the same place though? What's the point of this? It looks like more of the same. Basically, at this point, I'm just waiting for it to turn back into night in the hopes that the merchant will return. Then I need to find him, buy some stuff from him. Rinse and repeat until I have enough stuff for my upgrades. Got the opportunity to actually buy a locomotive. I'm gonna do that because I can't remember what they cost. I feel like they're expensive. But then, what do these do? They done some track that I also bought and put the locomotive down. And off it goes. Oh, I become a train. Oh, interesting. Unfortunately, I don't have time for distractions like that. I'm having enough trouble staying focused on the task at hand. Three nights later, I managed to find the little guy again. Hopefully he's got some better stuff. So spirit orbs are fine. Uh, these aren't really because I find these pretty often and those are even more useless. So that was a waste. And I need to remember that once you're close to him, you get the little purple arrow that shows you you're close to him and it goes about half an island away. So because I'm tired of waiting for him, let's go ahead and summon that final ultimate boss, which should be the hardest one to defeat. Luckily, we already got the cosmic steel from him. That happens once every like thousand days. All we need is another 200 beats. Luckily for me, I know a pretty good farmer. 
so by daytime tomorrow we should be able to summon the big idiot and see how difficult he really is to fight. I may have overestimated, I'm already over a thousand beats and we're still going up. Another merchantless night means we're just gonna get this over with and do the beat sigil. But not before we finish one void amulet, because you can never have too many resources. Except when I can't find enough, but still don't know where to get the legendary gems, probably from that mysterious merchant who never turns up. I came to check on this old man's shrine, but I think the monsters may have got the better of it. You bet they couldn't do anything about him though. A nice rainy day to make this happen? We're gonna fight all around my train. As soon as I find the sigil, it's on. Giant beat thing. Mm, that looks different. Uh, so far it's probably a little bit harder to kill, given how little damage I'm doing to it. It's actually hitting me pretty hard. This one might be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, this one's gonna be really hard to beat. Oh, it disappeared. This one hates me. You are ugly and I hate you. Hmm. The other beats were nicer. Uh, yeah, I gotta back away from this one for a sec because it's doing a lot of damage. This one might actually involve some thinking and strategy. Hopefully it will despawn if it kills me. Otherwise, it's absolutely gonna destroy me again and again and my base. But maybe if I just keep spamming healing, I can just kind of tank through it. This is the one I want to one shot, but if the right things are showing up, that would take a long time. Where'd it go? Oh, good. He moved away. I think I'm probably gonna run out of healing before I'm able to defeat this. 190 meats left. Each one gives me one heart. If I can take less than 190 hearts of damage before this thing dies, I'm good. But at the rate it's going, probably not. It's a good thing I got all those hearts when I did. This thing would be killing me so fast if I didn't have maximum health. I can't see its health now, but it is getting down to the short strokes. Now I just need to find it again. Perfect, right near my base. Just where I want it destroying everything. Look who I find mid-battle. Do you have anything now for me, sir? Legendary gem? I definitely need some of those. Cosmic steel? Sure. And Kraken's Eye. Only one of those, but I'll take it. Boy, that was convenient. Now to finish this giant battle. I hit the wrong record button. I did manage to defeat him right here. I basically just hit him till he died. You know what that looks like. He did destroy quite a lot of my base right here though because that's where he happened to spawn. My reward for this is probably for spirit orbs. It was pretty difficult. He did almost kill me numerous times. Luckily I had full health, otherwise that wouldn't have been a winnable fight. Hilariously, now that he's defeated and I got his spirit orbs, I can start increasing damage because everything else is maximized. So great. Welcome back to Erotic Whipping in the Park. And on that bombshell, it's time to end. Today we're starting out stronger than ever before, and we're going to take things to an absolutely ridiculous scale. I've already got garlic, for example, so I'm just marching through the bats, murdering everything I can. And look at that, we already found our axe as well. So if we get that to level 10, we know that everything's going to die in a hurry. My only goal right now, beelining it for every single bat. I need those upgrades as quickly as possible. We need to get ahead of the curve. And I don't care who we have to kill to get there. Okay, the next level up doesn't have as good of options. So we're maybe going to take a peach one, peach one. It circles around and shoots things once in a while. I don't know if it's good. It does add some kind of damage, so I think I'll probably like it. Duplicator, weapons fire more projectiles. I think I'm going to like that one a lot. I do like to fire a lot of projectiles. Really compliments the whipping in the garden. Here comes the first herd of bats and there is a bunch of money. Perfect. We'll make our whip a little stronger. We've never seen a level 10 whip either and I bet it's ridiculous. This is a pretty good start. The enemies are obviously pretty weak so far, but I think we're going to be okay. Uh, we'll take better uh, garlic for now, just because it's easy. Then we're maybe going to start to take the fire wand again because that's also really good at level 10. It fires giant meteorites that don't stop for anything. Okay, and then we're going to level up the axe some more because we want to get that as close to level 10 as we can as soon as possible. Already it's doing tons of damage though. Once it goes out, which is still fairly few in between, it wrecks everything. We'll get an upgrade for my axe. It wasn't doing enough damage yet. Base damage upgraded by 20. Uh, and we're gonna upgrade the axe one more time. And now we're firing all those axes out already. Uh, we could upgrade the whip. I'm also gonna take just extra damage by 10% because the axes are doing so much already. An extra 10 is really gonna add on a lot. Next, I'm gonna take the candelabrador because I'm pretty sure I need that to get the axe upgrade I want. But anyway, that just gives more area. So my axes, my uh, dove bombs, and my fireballs all hit that many more things as they go. And five minutes has passed, so we're already being walled in by the uh, weirdos in dresses and also the praying mantis, which should be out here somewhere. So next, uh, we'll maybe get the magic wand going again, but then I think we're just going to try and get everything we can to level 10. Whatever's close to level 10, we're pushing all the way there ASAP. So far, so good. Normally, these things are pretty hard to kill, and the axes are just kind of melting right on through them. But we need to be sure that we're melting absolutely everything. Otherwise, we're going to start to struggle very soon. Okay, so the whip is going to be upgraded because the whip will also do tons of damage. And I like the way the whip works because I could be really lazy now. It attacks both sides so I don't have to turn and face anyone to hit them. I'll just hit them regardless. 
definitely want to pick up this guy because now we're going to hoover up all the gems and hopefully give me an instant level up. So the garlic is level 5 now so it's going to do lots of damage as well and that's going to help me take out things like that. And that's giving you good for upgrades. Same thing again, be careful about the guys that pushes into you but we're good there. There's also a glowy bat there that we want to kill. So we're going to try and position the axes right below it while also keeping an eye on our health. We do also have just a little bit more health regeneration than we did last time. Uh, that's not going to make a huge difference, but I will very slowly regenerate health. Okay, the bat just died, but I accidentally clicked, so I didn't really see the upgrade I got, but we did get an upgrade, I guess, so that's fine. So we could take faster movement speed. I want garlic for now. It's uh, the closest to level 10 there, so we're going to try and push it all the way there. And for now, it's mostly just this, wandering around. Uh, ooh, fires more projectiles is also a good one. I'm going to get that just because that's going to add a lot of damage elsewhere. Because I still think my axes are my main source of damage, so the more axes I'm throwing out there, simply the more damage we're going to do. Next level up, let's... Oh, the axes are there too. Do we do axes or garlic? We're going to do axes. One of the downsides to axes that I didn't realize before is to kill everything potentially way far away. Like I have to run so far to get my stupid gems. Not that that's a big deal, but the quicker I can pick gems up, the quicker we're going to get to where we're going. And I want to be in stupid overpowered land soon. I did also just see this, and I can't remember that one. Yeah, okay, that one just freezes everyone. But now I can uh, bully the stupid glowy bat. I just found... I don't know what that is, but it was in a chest, so that's an upgrade. Oh, okay, that's garlic. Now that I look at it, yeah, that's quite obviously garlic. And that's fine by me, because I do want to see the level 10 garlic upgrade. I also really need to get away from red bats. But we're doing lots of damage to them, and uh, historically they've been a little bit tough to kill, so this is very optimistic. And that helps because the fact that we can kill them pretty easily right now means we're going to get a lot of extra gems and upgrades. And that's going to help us further. Uh, we're also at the 10 minute mark so our Prang Mantis friend is going to spawn in. So we're going to try and hit him with as many axes as possible because we need him dead. But that's easier said than done because he's still got a lot of health regardless of our current damage. But I'm going to pretend this is and turning into a disaster and hopefully circle on out of it. I'm going to stray a little bit in the vicinity of uh, Big Boy there because I know he can drop up to like 5 upgrades at once and I kind of want 5 upgrades all at once. Oh, he did get this, so let's get a little bit better uh, garlic. I don't know how long those flowers stick around for, if it's just a straight minute, but I'm actually almost dead. I didn't realize how close we were to dying. I need to go find some health. Yeah, okay, so those stick around for a minute. Um, we have skeletons coming in, but my garlic's strong enough I should be able to just evaporate them. And hopefully one of them will drop some healing for me at some point. Uh, either way, I'm going to get a lot of gems and upgrades, and Big Boy dropped his thing. Okay, we're going to upgrade our whip. We're going to go get Big Boy's upgrade, hopefully, if we can get close enough to it without dying. And it is a super upgrade, so hopefully it gives us five. I'd be happy with three. Even one I'm not going to complain with. So it gave us two Candelabra doors and one uh, sucky thing. And that's fine by me. Candelabra doors just uh, give me more, uh, basically, area of attack. So my axes and stuff get bigger, my garlic gets bigger, my fireballs get bigger. Basically, my damage gets bigger. So we're going to upgrade the whip right now. Because already my zone of damage is so big and I can just cruise through all these idiots absolutely melting them and getting all the riches. We're going to upgrade the whip once more. I wish I had more movement speed right now, honestly, because I'd be getting just that much more power-ups. That many more power-ups. There's some health, though. We'll take that, and then we're about to level up once again. It's literally happening that quickly. I guess Candelabra Door to level 5. Um, that's definitely going to help, because that's just bigger a area of damage. And more health again. It was all hiding off-screen somehow. Even the werewolves now, we're uh, able to defeat not instantly, but we're able to get through them, so that's a big upgrade. This blue bat I'm going to bully until he dies, and then we're going to take his upgrade, which is hopefully better axes. Garlic armor? I think to level 9 already. Well, the garlic armor is up to level 8, uh, so that's doing lots of damage, and that's going to help with all sorts of things. Um, yeah, I guess we'll take weapon cooldown by 8%. I just want to get something going there, otherwise I might get an automatic upgrade that's the wrong thing. And that's going to set us back. Uh, okay, so our whip is going up to level 9 then, because there wasn't a lot of good upgrades there to choose from. Well, the whip, I guess, is always good. It gets so much closer to level 10, and anything at level 10 turns into its ultimate form, it seems like. And I tend to really like things in the ultimate form. These ghosts are going to be really good for upgrades. They just feed me. Uh, there's axe level 6. I thought that was further ahead than that, but that's okay. That means it's got a long ways to go, and therefore it's going to get a lot more damage in it. This used to scare me. Now I really like it, because that's just all experience to me. As long as I don't let them, you know, stick to me in a big group like that, I'll be fine. Even that little bit of damage isn't enough to worry me, really. And when I get in a jam, I just kind of need to move upwards, because my axes will clear the way for me a lot. But I'm going to circle around and try and get back to all the gems that I just dropped back there. 
And I'm also going to pick up this. I can't remember. Yeah, okay, that one just clears the screen once. But there's another upgrade. Uh, I don't know if I want any of those, really. All right, one more projectile. The werewolves seem to be a little bit thinned out. They're still surviving, but we are hurting them. We could definitely kill them fairly easily. It's just a matter of actually landing the things on them. Okay, this is a really bad spot to be in. Suddenly, I didn't realize things were in such dire position. Uh, We're going to go with better axes to try and fight a way out of this intelligently, because damage. I was actually pretty worried there for a second, but we actually do enough damage that we were able to straight up fight a way out of that. Still not in a great position here, but we're going to try and circle back around. Okay, the majority of the cluster is up here right now. Um, so I'm going to try and circle around and get back to our healing, but then also I can work up into them because I work a lot better upwards than downwards. And we're also going to pick up a bunch of these because I need all this and whatever that is. And I don't know what that did. Kind of put myself in a bit of a bad spot here that we seem to be able to fight a way out pretty reasonably. Yeah, we'll just take more area of damage. Because if my axes, just the more things my axes are hitting, the easier this is going to be for me. And uh, so far it's getting to be a little bit struggly. But there's some healing, so we'll scoop that up. And then just keep on doing our thing. And we found the praying mantis area again. Uh, well, this is a really bad spot to be in. I'm just going to tank through this for a second. Thanks, guys. I'll be on my way. I think I need to hold my ground a little bit more because I'm getting too far away. I'm killing things, but I'm not really picking up the experience from them. So there's an upgrade to my magic wand, which is... It needs the upgrades because it's still pretty weak. Uh, but every upgrade certainly can help get it there. And now we get an extra upgrade to... Let's just take all damage overall. And then we can hopefully more so just kind of sit here like this and enjoy the riches of murder. Yeah, if I hold my ground, it works a little better. I just need to remember that in times like this, it looks bad because there's so many enemies around, but I can still fight my way out left and right. As long as I'm careful with my movement. There's also a big werewolf in there I kind of want to kill. Because I think he's going to give me some good stuff. we got mummies coming in for some reason too, and I really want that. I just need to find a way to get all the way over there. Plus there's lots of upgrades. I don't know if we picked it up. There's level 8 axe, so we're getting very close. Can we get that now? That might have just killed me. But we'll see what we get for it. This is really the definition agree, but there is my super axe. This is it. This is the level 10 axe. That looks different. So now it's going to absolutely annihilate things. Evolved axe. Passes through idiots. Okay, we got to get out of there though. And now they're going to start to fire out in just a moment. And we're on easy street for a little while. And we already killed him and pretty much everything else. And we got a little bit more firepower. I'm not sure what level this thing's up to. So let's start upgrading the fire wand while we're at it. Everything else will uh, be an afterthought, but uh, for now we're able to kill pretty much everything. Definitely an inconvenient time to have mummies showing up, because there's not a lot of them and they're hard to kill. So we're not going to get a lot of experience from these, I don't think. So the trick now is to use all these axes to upgrade everything I can. Fire one more projectile, maybe we can get the machine gun laser again. We definitely can get more treasure, which led to an orb of hoovering. But that still helps too, because now I just don't need to get as close to stuff to pick it up, so I can be lazier and just get more experience overall, which means more damage. Another upgrade, we're just going to take a uh, magic wand, just going to give me extra base damage. Then I'm going to continue to go in murder circles, killing things, and on the second map I'll pick up what they drop. Not a lot of high level options here, so we'll just take base damage up 10%. So that's going to take my axes from, I don't know, 100 to 110 damage. With that many axes, that's going to add up, and here comes a bunch of bats to feed me. This is very nice. I kind of wish I'd actually get closer, though. There's a lot of damage going out there. My DPS just went up a lot. And this is also a scary spot to be suddenly. Um, oh, and there's a big mummy, too. We're going to work our way out of this a little bit. Uh, I think we can get through this. I just don't want to be that surrounded. I like to have options. This feels a little better. I do want to kill that big mummy though, just because I just don't like big mummies. We're going to take a little bit more experience so we can level up a little bit quicker now too. Uh, so I need to be careful too. It's getting hard to see like what's near me. I've walked into enemies a few times accidentally and they definitely take a lot of health in a hurry. But our axes for the most part kill everything before I get anywhere close to them. Okay, so I guess we're just going to level up our magic wand again. We're starting to get the flowers, so that means I'm trapped by something currently. I do have an exit route right here we're probably going to take. Maybe it is just the mummy supposed to be the boss. Either that already killed it. Either way, there's nothing really challenging me at this particular moment. Look at all the experience around, though. Okay, big boy is dead, which is good. And he's going to give us a book. The Power of Knowledge. Don't know what we do without that. All cooldown reduced by uh, 8%, which is good. That means I'm throwing my axes out 8% uh, quicker. And the axes do do a lot of damage. Do I have to fight my way out of these too? That's fine, I certainly will. I just didn't realize they had me trapped. 
so we're going to go up here, maybe pick up that little bit of healing to keep me nice and topped up, but then also pick up all these gems that are everywhere. Okay, we're also going to take our fire wand up to level 5. Oh, and there's another level up too, so we're going to take cooldown uh, another 8%. Okay, we're getting lots of power-ups. Uh, fire wand up to level 5 then. Magic wand to level 8. Magic wand to level 8 again, because I can't count. Uh, fire wand up to whatever. Why are we getting so many of these? I'm not complaining. There's another 10% damage. There's more uh, fire wand. There's more fire. I don't know what's happening right now, but I'm all about it. Our damage just went up so much that it's kind of a joke. I don't know how or what we just picked up, but we got a ton of upgrades. Let's just win something that gave us a lot of experience. Yeah, now we have uh, more room to breathe, I guess you could say. There's also an orb down there. Uh, we're going to do cooldowns by another whatever. And I'm also going to pick this up. Not sure I dropped it. Don't really care. Give me that. The game is just feeding me all the power-ups I could ever want at this point. Oh, that's a max level. I think that's the fireballs again. Evolve Fire Wand. Passes through enemies. Requires spinach. So you need the spinach and the magic wand to be able to get this. But I'm glad we got it now because those fireballs that fire extra fireballs, uh, they're going to be kind of helpful to us. I'm also going to pick up that and <laughs> give me all the gems. Level up. Shocking. Cool down. 8% less and we're going to pick up uh, another one of these hoovering things. And we're going to absorb a few more gems. And then we're going to continue to use our incredible axes and super fireballs to just murder the world. We can mostly just stand in one spot and um, win. We also got the evolved magic wand, so it's the holy wand, so it's just going to machine gun fire into things as well. So I've got three ultimate weapons that are doing incredible DPS. Uh, so let's upgrade the uh, peach one, peachone. I don't know what it's called, but it's still flying around doing its thing. I don't know how much help it's been this entire time, but it's been there trying its best. Uh, I've also just frozen everything. Not that that really matters at this point, but, um, you know, that's something. We can just march on through them. We are coming up to the 25 minute mark. We're mostly surrounded by zombies, which normally would bother me, but it doesn't that much right now. So we'll take, uh, we're just going to keep upgrading this because I think if we can manage to get that to level 10, it's going to do wonders for us as well, which shouldn't be that hard considering the amount of stuff we're killing. Now it's up to the next level already. Okay, there's a big uh, piranha plant, uh, so we're going to work on killing it for a second. If my laser beams wanted to focus on that, that would be great because I feel like this is going to drop us something nice. And this is clearly the level 25 boss. It's just moving away from me because I keep hitting with too much damage. Okay, it's dead. That was quick though. And it upgraded my dove bomb. So fires one more projectile. Again, I'm not really sure what it's doing, but I'm sure it's doing something. Well, it is firing like an AC-130 warplane thing, so that's okay. If your dove is doing that, you got a good dove. I definitely feel pretty strong right now. I can just march towards these flowers now, and um, I think they, they seem to die before they can hit me. So I'm basically just going to target the thickest part of them. There we go. This will work. So 26 minute things get intense, but that dove is actually doing a ton of damage. So let's give it more. Yeah, at first I didn't think the dove was doing much, but now I can see it really is clearing a lot of area around me. And that means a lot of power ups. I don't really know what- oh, that actually started to hit me a little bit, so... The enemies are starting to catch up to us very slowly. But that's okay, we're about to get another level up. Uh, I guess we'll take pickup range increased. Never hurts to be able to get this stuff. But it makes me think we're running out of uh, power-up availability. Which might seem like a ridiculous notion at this point, considering we're pretty powerful, but you can never have too much. Because I can still see the enemies on screen, and that's just not going to fly for me. But we're back to the weirdos in the dress for some reason. Those are an early, like, enemy, so they're not going to last very long. Another level up, we're going to take experience gain. And I guess whatever it is I need for, like, upgrading my dubs to its ultimate level, I just don't have. It's a power-up that I didn't get because I don't know which one it is. I did, however, just find a crown. I don't know what this one does. XP gain. Okay, so we just get more XP gain. That's not super exciting, but it is rather helpful. Yeah, I do actually really like those doves at this level. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just take more XP gain. The more XP gain we get, the faster we're going to further level to get more... I don't know what, but something. I do suspect that at 29 minutes, though, things are about to get harder again. And while we're ahead of the curve right now, that may change soon. Oh, we're getting the other kind of uh, glowy bats, though, the gray ones. I think they're stronger because, uh, yeah, they're definitely getting a little bit closer than I would like them to be. But the doves also keep them honest at the same time. So we're 40 seconds away from 30 minutes, and I'd imagine we're going to find a pretty big boss at 30 minutes. We have 1,500 coins. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay.
Uh, uh, yeah, he one-shotted us, so we need more power. So we know of the ultimate ability for the uh, thing raining uh, lasers from the sky. So uh, we've got the whip, the axes, the swords, and the sky lasers. We've got four ultimate abilities, and we've definitely never done this kind of damage before. So I'm going to stand here for a second and uh, farm up a bunch of gems. Then I'm going to pick up the, the hoover here and we're just going to suck it all in because I can be lazy. With everything I have going on, I actually think this is about as close as things currently can get to me. The uh, axes knock them back and, you know, the damage just kills them everywhere. Oh, but we are at the uh, 25 minute mark, so we're going to get some stronger enemies trying to push in on us. Namely the flowers. Oh, that big one started to get close. He's getting whipped really hard though too. And, uh... I'm not sure he's the type of flower that likes being whipped. Uh, that seems to be about as close as he can get. He'll be dead shortly. I'm gonna pick up this just to, you know, have a little change of Suni. Oh, he died. Oh, wait, what? We can level this up? Oh, the two items combined, so it gave me a free spot. Wait, what did I just touch? Yeah, I want to level this up. Oh, I picked the magic wand. I wouldn't have picked that. That's fine. Better magic. Oh, so we're upgrading an ultimate ability now. Yeah, that's fine by me. Give me all the upgrades. Give me this one too. Which is mostly going to be upgrading a magic wand. And I don't know if we can even hit the uh, ultimate ability for this. Actually, we can because we have the tome. So we could get a fifth ultimate weapon uh, if we find enough upgrades in the next four minutes. Which is conceivable. We're killing a lot of things. This laser bird thing is ridiculous. It's melting everything. We're going to make it stronger. Plus the extra projectiles probably aren't hurting considering it's already firing a billion. And there's another upgrade. Base area up by 20%. It's already covering a lot of this screen, I feel like, so that's kind of fun. Yeah, things were having trouble getting close before I started upgrading the ultimate ability. Now it's just damage everywhere. The whole screen just feels like damage. And we're going to reduce its cooldown by 0.3 seconds. I don't know how quick it's firing now, but I feel like that's a significant increase in firing speed. But not before increasing the base area of this thing up 20%, plus... One more projectile. Okay, so I think this thing is maxed out. I think we have the ultimate, ultimate weapon. I don't think we can make it any better. The magic wand, we have a little bit of room for improvement, but um, I'm not entirely sure it's necessary at this point. I feel like we have adequate strength and damage output. And we're getting into the hordes of glowy bats now, and the red bats, it used to be the bane of my existence. Now they're just kind of a brief pixel on the screen before getting absolutely melted. These things are managing to hold on just a little bit on screen, like they're dying slower than the other things were. Um, we're still winning this fight, but they're definitely lasting longer. I'm just trying to collect as many of the red gems as possible because look at that experience going up. And I think we got it maxed out. I think we need a chest to be able to get the ultimate ability, so we're just going to take coin bags for now. <laughs> look at all the damage we're doing. I don't know what our DPS is, but it's insane, and so is our experience. We're just destroying absolutely everything. The game's even starting to lag. I can feel it heaving there. This is fun, because these things are so tough. Oh, there we go. There's what we need. This should give me my uh, ultimate wand. And there it is. Ultimate number five, I think. And we really needed this because the damage just wasn't there yet. So we're now rapid firing um, magic at idiots. Uh, yeah, the game is definitely lagging a little bit. And uh, I don't blame it. There's a lot of stuff going on. But we're coming up to 30 minutes again, so uh, let's see if we can fight the good fight against Big Boy this time. He uh, definitely one-shotted me last time, so I'm not sure if we can actually fight him or not. There he is. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to defeat him. Which is saying something, considering how powerful I was. That was a very good run. I'm very satisfied. And in case you're wondering about the DPS of things, uh, things like the basic items were like 200 DPS. Uh, they got up there, but the Vand uh, Vandalier... 13,000 DPS did 5 million damage. So of everything I've used so far, it's been far and away the strongest. And to start, we're going to unlock this. But not quite the intersection room yet because we can't afford it. But I do get to start out with a bullet crown, so every time I kill an enemy in a room, my attack rate goes up. Correction, it's not that my attack rate goes up, it just adds an extra bullet to my gun that I'm firing. And that's pretty fun because I really like bullets. And uh, these pink things are new. These gray and pink things, I don't know what they are. I've never seen them before, but suddenly they're here. And they're harder to kill than a lot of the other enemies because you can't even hit them at all times. You gotta wait till they're pink. I'm trying to complete as many of these rooms as I can without getting hit because that actually unlocks me a new room with an item that I never knew about before. The more pets you have, the further you can shoot. Now unfortunately, my quest for that is not going super well because of these new enemies that I don't really know how to deal with yet. Lullaby! Good night, sleep tight. Get a silver egg if I activate this. Well, 
fine. Let's try the challenge room without getting hurt. I don't know if it can still count for us to do it, but we're going to give it a try. We're going to fire more, bu more bullets the more of these we kill. I wasn't really sure about this gun, but I kind of am now at least because look at all the bullets we can fire. And you know what? So far, so good. This challenge room isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. And we got the W, which I think upgrades my weapon. Upgrade your weapon, increase your rate of fire. So now we're doing this. And I guess we might as well give myself a silver egg. I have no idea what that does, but we have a silver egg. We're going to start off fighting Nick, who is definitely one of the harder first bosses to fight. So I'm going to... Okay, never seen him do that before either. So the game is a little bit different than I remembered suddenly. Because he can cut right down the middle now instead of following the walls. The first bosses used to be easy. I'm going to die to this one already. Got to hit him with lots and lots of bullets, and then we'll get through this together. Don't worry, he'll come down, I don't know, here. Right. All right, this is much more stressful than I thought it was going to- Okay, we're actually going to die here. We're okay, but I don't know what happened to this game. Suddenly it is much, much harder than it used to be. So we're going to grab that, we're going to grab that, and we're going to grab this. Uh, greatly increase your weapon damage. I could live with that. Now we're going to play the don't touch anything game. I'm just going to keep firing in the direction of enemies and hopefully dodge anything that comes in my way. I mean, this is a pretty good combination so far for killing lots of enemies. Against bosses, it's maybe not great, but we can live with that. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. That could have been big for me. That's all right. We'll continue screwing up. We'll get it together eventually. Yeah, <laughs> what a dummy. I mean, like, I don't know if I can even jump over that thing. My mummy leveled up. I don't want to touch this, though. I don't have the hearts to barely make it over that. We have a choice today. I don't know what either of these does. Probably the helmet, because that makes me think defensive. Increase your movement speed, weapon damage, and melee damage. I could live with that. What I can't live with is getting touched again. Uh, more new enemies that I've never seen before. So I think once again, I gotta wait for them to open up. And I have the wrong kind of gun for waiting. And this is gonna be frustrating just for the sake that I have to try and time all this. And that's not very easy to do. So far, I've been able to avoid being hit. But I still have very little health. I might actually have to buy some at the shop, which isn't a good thing. Two chests will heal me up, though. Well, I got half a heart. That's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. We're going back to the shop, I guess. I would like all of these items, but more than anything, just an extra hit is going to make all the difference in the world to me. Now we're going to try and do a challenge room. I just really hope there's none of the new enemies in here. Okay, this is a good start, because after all these, I'll be firing lots of bullets, and then hopefully I can tank my way through everything. Or damage my way through everything, because I'm firing this many, and they all do lots of damage. And these are always the hardest ones to deal with, because they're the toughest and the hardest to predict. But we did it. And I got an item. This one does upgrade your weapon, increase your uh, weapon and melee damage. So it's already level 3 and doing lots of damage. I'm just really hoping for an easy boss. As long as he's not doing anything too new and exciting, I should be able to beat him fairly easily because he basically does the same thing again and again. So far, so good. Avoid the stars. Don't touch him physically. But now it could get more difficult. I don't know if I, he actually hurts me to physically touch him. Nope, we're good. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought. We did it without getting any hits. Uh, adds a heart container and a crystal container. That's a pretty good one. Now, to proceed with absolute caution, because I don't know what I'm going to be fighting. All right, we unlocked our room, because our little bar got full. Which should mean that I can teleport, yes, directly to here. I've unlocked this before, I just never actually realized what had happened. A magical bean, or divinity. I decided to look up what these do. This would recover all my hearts and do something else. This one lets me fly. And we know how powerful flying is, so that's huge for me. So this went from being something of a struggle run to hopefully a fairly easy, overpowered one. But we'll see how this goes, because I already walked into bullets that I shouldn't have. If I fill this thing again... Oh, a ghost guy. That's new. Uh, if I fill my meter again, do I get another room of items? Because that would be great. And I'm pretty confident I'm going to get hit a little bit less now. I'll take that, and you know what? I'll take that, and whatever's in here. We need more of these little followers. What's this little gray guy, by the way? Alien Baby X. He fires two heat-seeking bullets at enemies automatically. Well, you know what? We might get more of those. I think that hatched out of my silver egg I can summon. I think I want to blow this up. Because I want everything here. And the key, that was probably worth it. Alright, time for a new item. I guess I got hit and lost all my uh, intelligence points. So now I need to get hit to raise that again, which is really annoying. Every time your pet evolves, you'll drop a key. I don't really care. I do care about this room though, because suddenly I'm feeling tough again. Challenge room it is. And this is definitely dangerous because any one of these could actually kill me. Like, without being even that difficult. Once I get the first wave of enemies down, now I get all these bullets, things get a lot easier and a lot less stressful. Flying also helps quite a bit too. Please boost damage. Uh, increase your weapon's damage. Perfect. Big bullets. Really big bullets. And since I seem to have an excess of crystals, we can go like that. Use my power, have one left over, pick these up, and I could use my power again if I knew what silver eggs were for. Also gonna sacrifice one of my grenades in the hopes of finding that. 
All oh, right, we're going to do a talk with my large, large bullets. I uh, wonder if it counts as enemies. Yep, it sure does. So we're doing extra damage for every one of those little things. Also having trouble seeing right away because of all my bullets in the way. Not a problem that's uh, exactly uncommon to me, but still annoying nonetheless. Okay, he's dead. It was that easy. It's just, it's hard to see past all my bullets. At a heart container. That's pretty good at this point. If I can just boost myself defensively, I think we'll be okay because I'm doing plenty of damage. Wouldn't mind a little bit more of a straightforward firing gun because this gets annoying to have to deal with. I don't like the look of this challenge room very much. And okay, that's all right. We're okay. We got our bullets out. We can be airborne now. We'll be just fine. Oh, those aren't good, but... All right, it was that easy. Didn't get hit once. And we got Jack, who's probably going to annoy me. And the battle pass. Uh, the more coins you have, the more bullets you can shoot. Okay, well, I think we're at max already, but great. We'll do our best to continue collecting coins at this rate anyways. Hey, so many eggs and so few followers. Item time. Does this mean I can change back to wisdom? Nope, it just takes away rage. I should have left that there because I'm going to get hit again. Shadow Blade. Do more weapon damage when you attack from behind. That could be good when I'm flying. Also because my bullets do make a circular motion, which could be considered attacking from behind. I'm not sure how it works. I actually feel like because I have so many spare hearts everywhere, I'm going to get hit a few times to increase my rage meter. So let's, uh, did that not work? I didn't take any damage there. Hello, can you hit me? There we go. That might have worked. That should work to increase my rage. Yep, we're almost there now. Just one more little hit. I could probably use spikes for this. Nope, spikes don't work. That was just a good old waste of a heart. Somebody hit me just once, please. There it is. I've unlocked a new item room. And also kind of closed myself off from the shop because of my stupid bullets. So anyways, let's see what this is. That's new. It's called Sacrifice. So for this, I can sacrifice one of my hearts for one of three different items it would offer me. I'm going to wait on that at least for now. I'm going to see how the rest of this floor goes. Eh, never mind. That's kind of a, you know, one-shot deal and the room is closed. But now I know for next time. And with this room, I might have a new record for the most followers I've ever had. If I time this just right, I didn't do it. But that's okay. We're going to open up everything to see what we get. Let's do it all again with Freddy. I'm pretty sure I can sit above Freddy and be fairly safe. Nope, he attacks upwards anyway, so I can sit pretty much anywhere and it's the same danger. Sort of. Okay, now if I sit above him, I'll be safer because he can't attack downwards very easily. And now he's kind of free floating. I really need a better gun. This gun does lots of damage, but it's horrible to try and aim and maneuver myself. Some kind of espresso. Increase your rate of fire. Excellent, that's gonna help a lot. Just what the doctor ordered. Hopefully a good gun. Justice will be dispensed in three, two... Uh, oh. Okay, we'll give this a try. Just thought there might be something up here. Let's see if this thing is any good. Well, it melts those pretty quickly. Uh, something... Uh, what is hitting me? Oh, there's a teleporting guy. I didn't notice. Not sure how much I like this gun yet. I'm going to give it a fair chance, though. And hopefully not find too many more rooms like this, because flying doesn't give me an advantage here. It actually works against me. Some of my eggs hatched or something. Ooh, look at all that good stuff. Definitely want to touch that carefully. Flying makes it too easy. When I get to the shop, I still might try a different gun. I'll buy a random one, maybe, because I'm not really sold on this. And Jack's bombs keep blowing me all over the place. It's not fun. I just unlocked a rock that's now orbiting. Oh, okay. I forgot I could do that to summon keys. A random locked door. Ooh, I like this room. Why can't I find more rooms like this? This is much less stressful. This is one of the regular type stressful rooms. But this one wasn't so bad because at least I have room to maneuver. And my item is a cherry. Cherry taste. There's a chance your bullet will split into extra bullets. Oh, that could be fun if it bounces off walls. My laser beam is getting pretty big. It's pretty much going to kill anything in the far side of the room as long as it's roughly in the right direction. I'm also concerned about the amount of damage I'm taking though. I think it's a jack stupid bombs like knocking me around everywhere into danger. But you know what? We'll make do with it. I think I almost have one of every follower at this point too. So if I get through this room without taking any damage, I think I'll unlock a new item. And usually it's a defensive item if it's coming from the wisdom room. Yeah, Jack's bombs are driving me nuts. Like that one just knocked me forward five feet. Before we go any further, let's investigate both of these. Virtual Assistant and Hong Ming Lantern. Basically, this one gives me a protective sprite, potentially when I lose a shield. This one does the same thing, but when I just get hurt. So it's a better choice. Not that I get hurt a lot or anything. All right, this random chest just dropped me whatever this is. Chocolate cookies. Every time your pet evolves, you'll drop a bomb. That's counterproductive, but thanks. Guess we're out of options and we're at Argus already. 
Damn, didn't think we'd get here this quick. What if we sit up here for safer? Potentially, as long as I'm moving and staying at right angles, not at right angles to all of the lasers. I can't really see what's going on anymore. I'm just going to fire at him until he dies. I feel like I need to adjust my volume. I feel like I'm yelling at you guys a lot. Okay, I'm getting hit a lot again because I can't really see the lasers coming in because I've got too many of my own lasers in the way. But so far, so good. I feel like I'm doing plenty of damage to him. I do kind of need to focus though because I'm getting hit way more than I should and I could potentially die still. I am going to search for a better gun still. Maybe if I'm closer to him, I'll hit him with all the lasers and do more damage. I am being kept safe by a lot of my little sprites. That was still a lot harder than it should have been. Giant barbecue! Increase your weapon damage, but reduce your fire rate. That's probably okay. Because look at all that laser beam. If anyone out there has a way for me to kill Jack, please let me know. He's driving me nuts. He's the biggest problem I have. Other than that, things are going great. I guess I probably got the money for this. First try. Is this cheating if I can fly? Oh, it won't let me fly to do this. That's okay. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. But we'll also not do it that way. Alright, final try. And it actually hurt me that time as the thing blew up. So I need to actually pay attention. Okay, this better be worth it. I spent 45 coins at least getting to this. Your bullet will create a platform on the wall. How does that even work? And why do I care when I can fly? That was a huge waste of money. These lasers are pretty ridiculous though. I mean, look at that. I don't even have to aim anymore. Either the candy cane or the dangerous receipt. Candy cane it is. The more followers I have, the faster I can shoot. And I've got a lot of those guys. Now we got faster than ever lasers. Anytime now, I am going to find the shop. Basically, if I time it right, as soon as I walk into a room, I can kill something, which upgrades my laser in a big way. And all my pets are leveling up. There's something unnerving about this room. I want to touch that before I turn it into that. Yep, this room went horrible because I didn't want that to happen. Thought I could touch it before anything else, but I was wrong. So now we have a gun, a rocket ship, and a shield. This gun might actually be good because I just looked it up and it fires small lasers apparently. Oh, that's kind of fun. We're going to try that. And uh, we're going to see what the rocket ship does before we buy it. But I'm going to buy the shield. That one is basically a chance to fire a heat-seeking missile. I don't need that. Alright, so let's see how my new laser show works. That was pretty cool. I didn't have to do anything. Oh, and the more uh, of these I get, I think I get an angry sprite for doing that. So those are going to damage things around me. So every time I kill enemies, I get those. And those are going to help keep me safe, I think. All right, we have spare grenades. So we're going to start opening things like that. A shield and a half. All right, trying the laser on a slightly bigger room. And you know what? I think I like it. This is a small room that's making me uncomfortable. Hmm. Not as bad as I thought. Another jack? Is that the second one I have or did I just make a new one? I made a new one. Well, since we're going to fight the boss, let's get four angry sprites to follow us. And hopefully we can mostly stay way over here and do a bunch of damage. So far, so good. Again, it's a little bit hard to see past the lasers, but so far, talk is almost dead already. Going to try and avoid things. I'm not sure what's happening at this point, but okay, that was easy. Pretty sure I didn't get hit once there. Police badge. Uh, add extra bullets per shot and increase your bullet velocity. Oh, okay. I'm definitely doing lots of damage, but again, I just can't really see stuff coming at me, so I do need to try and figure that out a bit. Where did all my followers go? Did that many of them die along the way? I mean, I don't miss them because Jack is gone, but it's just weird I have so few suddenly. Nope, never mind. They're back. They just got lost. So when I'm clearing out a room now, I'm not exactly a surgeon, but things die pretty fast. Oh, I was about to pick up the big coin, but my idiot grabber grabbed it already. Found yet another random item. Running shoes. Increase your movement speed. Well, that's fine. I can fly around a little faster, I guess. Gonna blow those up. But strangely enough, I'm honestly at the point where I'm not even sure I need any more power-ups. Like, what more could I need at this point other than more health, maybe? I just walk forward doing this and everything dies. Literally everything. And look at all my protector sprites. I make big rooms look easy now. You know what? Scratch that. I make all rooms look easy. Just look how much stuff there is even just going on around me. And I can still summon more of those. Like, I'm completely surrounded now. Wow, I actually got hit by something. Not sure what, but something actually hit me pretty hard in this room. I blame Jack like always. And we get black rum. When you use a bomb, all your eggs will explode. Interesting. I pretty much have to go to the shop now to try and recover some of that health because I'm not sure what happened to it, but it went somewhere, so I'm going to buy both the shield and the heart. Even without firing my laser, I it's so hard to see anything. I have no idea what's going on. We can still summon more of these. They just make a bigger, tighter circle, so that's going to be more damage against the boss. And it's Hal. I kind of forgot about Hal. 
Uh, health should be okay to defeat, though, as long as we avoid the falling things somewhat. Uh, and the lasers, of course. Got to avoid those. A little nervous about how this is going to go, because I can't see anything. Uh, yeah, avoiding lasers. That's what I do best. Okay, now we got these other things coming in. I should be able to kill them fairly quickly. I always forget what I'm supposed to be shooting here. I'm just going to kind of shoot everything, because that's what I naturally do anyway. Being able to fly makes it so easy. Like... It's almost ridiculous. The first part's still a little bit hard, but then I sit up here and nothing can really touch me. Starting to take a little more damage. Not sure if that's because Hal is harder than it used to be or what the deal is, but any second now, Hal is going to be defeated. What is this? Okay, we're done. And what do we get? Increase your weapon damage and rate of fire, because I needed more of that. Level 8. And that kind of reinforces my belief that weapons are the single most important thing. Your gun is the most important thing you can have. This one's definitely good for clearing out rooms, but for boss fights, it's super stressful. I've somehow managed to amass 14 keys and 8 grenades too. Not sure I'm not going through any of those, but that's alright. If you don't need them, you don't need them. Scarlet Tail. Increase your rate of fire if you get hurt while in the room. That's maybe going to come in handy for bosses, where I do tend to get hurt a little bit. Most rooms really just kind of go like this though. I just... Done. I just got hit by some idiot and I unlocked my other room, so I'm going to fly over to that really quick. And then decide if it's worth it. I'm going to go for it at this point, just because I can. Sacrificed a heart. Not a big loss there. Now we have three items to choose from. This one's kind of interesting. This one basically increases weapon damage. This one adds fire damage. This one increases damage for every pet that I have. Given how many pets I have, this might be the way to go. So I think I'm going to go for this. Uh, I'm not really sure which one's going to be more damage. Probably this. Either way, it's an upgrade. My gun is currently only level three. Yeah, given that I have that many pets, let's go for the lion headgear. And here's another three eggs, just because we don't have enough pets yet. Alright, let's see this new damage. It feels pretty much the same, but I know there's more damage there. But we'll maybe see that more so against the bosses. Our item for the floor is the gas mask. There's a chance you'll fire a poison bullet. Yep, there's a little one firing out, just to add a little more damage, I suppose. We'll go ahead and pick up some shield here. Alright, me and my army of idiots is about to fight Zeus again. Last time we fought Zeus, it was a pretty one-sided battle. Uh, we're doing maybe a little bit less damage than last time, or Zeus might be a little bit stronger, given our uh, slightly upgraded difficulty, as it seems. Uh, whatever the case, as long as I'm kind of moving constantly, Zeus doesn't really seem to be able to hit me very much. Ow. Mm, but it is also hard to see what's coming at me. And I don't know what I keep touching, but something keeps hurting me. The lightning bolts kind of hurt. All right, I might actually die here because I don't really know what keeps hitting me. Oop, that definitely hit me. Lightning bolts are hitting me, that much I know. Okay, got to be very careful. Almost got him beat. No, nope, we're dead. Hmm. There's too much going on on screen. I can't actually see what's happening. 